Hey, welcome everybody to the Professional Photographers of Washington Image Competition 2022, coming to you virtually. Uh, this should be a pretty exciting time that we have today. We've got an amazing panel. Uh, in fact, let's kind of take a peek at it and see who is going to be evaluating our images. We have our jury chair, Tim Atheithson, who's a master photographic craftsman, a fellow from ASP, and an educational associate from ASP. We've got PG, Master Photographic Craftsman and CPP. David Lloyd, CPP. Gina Tussey, Master Photographic Craftsman and CPP. Rob Beam from Washington State, Master Photographic Craftsman, Honorary Master Photographer and CPP. Bob Coates, Master Pho Photographer, Master Artist, Photographic Craftsman, CPP, Educational Associate from ASP and Tim Meyer, Master Photographic Craftsman, and CPP. They're going to be leading our charge today. <clears throat> I do want to let you know about our upcoming conference, April 9th through 11th in Spokane, Washington. You can go to ppw.org for more information on that. Just a reminder, we are going to be using the PPA 100-point scoring system. Uh, it's broken up into different categories. You can look on your screen now to see uh, where our different point values are, with that 80 to 84 being in the deserving of a merit category. The judges will also be using the 12 elements of a merited image to evaluate it and come up with the scores. So they'll be looking at the impact, technical excellence, creativity, style, composition, presentation, color balance, center of interest, lighting, subject matter, technique, and storytelling as they evaluate your images. With that, we're going to go ahead and get started with our image competition. So judges, you are officially live here. And uh, Tim, whenever you're ready, we can begin with our first image. Just one second. All righty. First image, please. We're ready. All right. Our very first image. And in this one, we are going to be in the photographic open in the illustrative category. And our first image, sign of time. Score is 78. Cloudy with a chance of baseball. Score is 81. Majestic mountains. Watching him play. <clears throat> 80. Long challenge. past. Oh. You have a challenge? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I've scored this in the above average category at a 77, and I really appreciate the the look on the um, antelope's face, if that's the, if I'm calling it correctly. Um, it's absolutely beautiful uh, rendering of that. But unfortunately, I'm seeing some issues where the way the feet are, are brought into the grass and the uh, animal that's in the background, um, it just doesn't, the reality within the fantasy doesn't seem to be working for me. Rob. Uh, I was at 82. I, I I like the initial impact of the image. I like the color harmony and the, um, the presentation here. Um, I, I see uh, what the challenger is talking about there, but I, I didn't keep me out of the merit category. David. Um, I my, the problems that I had with it are that. Um, What's your score, David? The, my score was 75. And the, the border uh, presentation, uh, to me, pulls away from the image. 
Um, and while I think the image would have had a lot more impact without the secondary uh, subject, and also the um, the presentation goes from light to dark, you know, right to left. I just don't think it supports the image that well. Hey, PG? I was at 77 in the above race category. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the lighting and uh, the legs of the, the antelope the, in the front uh, and uh, some of the issues that were mentioned kept me going into the merit category. You know. I had this at an 83, uh, and beautiful for the presentation, excuse me, I'm sorry, for the center of interest and the feeling, but once the challenger mentioned the legs, I did see that, and the heavy uh, shadow underneath the second mat. Um. Yeah. I was in a, at an 82, and it's been said that uh, I think I see myself coming down, especially with the comment with the blending of the, the legs. Yeah, I don't, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, no additional comment, uh, 77. All right, let's respond. David? Yes, 75. Uh, average is 77. Long past retirement. Tim? 77. 24 Image Pano, National Music Center. Eighty-one. Sudden sunset storm. Seventy-nine. Ready to serve. Seventy-seven. Shades of pink. Eighty-five. The back forty. Four. Challenge. Uh, I am at 87 in excellent category on this image. Uh, loving the dance of light that's going across the composition. Would love to hear my fellow Judas comments. Uh, Gina. Uh, I have this in an 84. Uh, I, I was so wavering on that next next level, but the presentation is so dark and heavy. It, it, it's keeping me down a little bit, but someone will explain that to me. I'm right there. Yeah. I was at 84. I love the image. Uh, I was looking for a strong center of interest, and I keep coming back to that central field. I guess that's what the story is about. It, the undulation of the hills is really gorgeous. Uh, I'm listening, but I'm kind of hanging at that 84 at the moment. Wow. Yeah, I ended up in the above average category at a 78. And while the, the scene mm -hmm. has some really cool stuff going on, um, the presentation's already been mentioned. It's huge and heavy and dark and pulling me out of there. And 
Um, subject wise, I'm not sure that the, the field that's in the middle is really that attractive. Rob? I was at 80 just in the merit category um, for some of the reasons already mentioned, the negatives already mentioned. I, I do love the image design here, but the bottom right corner to me seems underexposed, somewhat milky in that area, and I'm questioning exposure value there. David? Yes, I was at an 85, and I like the overall look of the image as a, just a very pleasant uh, image to look at. But there, I don't see a, a center of interest or a subject that really pulls me in, you know, to want to see more. All right, PG, rebuttal. Hey, thank you for the comments. Uh, one of the things mentioned is the presentation, and I'm also not a huge fan of the presentation. It, it feels a little heavy, but uh, but I, I, it's not stopping me from enjoying the image. Uh, the we have a dance of light. I mean, yes, there is a, the the brightest area is in the middle, but we have the contrast going across the image and uh, you know taking us in and out uh, along the way uh, to the top left to the top uh, bottom right. Um, bottom right, the values, I, I feel like that is the shadow area and might be some blues are coming in because the sunlight is not hitting and that might be the perception uh, we have. Uh, I am still strongly feeling for it for uh, in an excellent category. I will be at 87. All right. Uh, Rescore, please. Eighty-four. The sun sets in the west. Um, sorry, I was having trouble advancing me. Score is 80. We have a majority challenge. Uh, let's see who would like to take it. Gina, why don't you take it? Absolutely. I'm all over it. I had this as an 81. Wow, the impact when it turns around absolutely knocks your socks off with all the beautiful, brilliant goldens and those sage greens and this beautiful purples and blues and skies. It's like you're falling into it. Uh, I, I think the center of interest is obviously there, the way the light is coming across and just making this a wonderfully golden image. Yeah. I was at 76, beautiful image, but uh, and I love the composition design and the lighting, but I had two major issues. It looks to me that the highlight areas, especially in the golden areas, is uh, kind of blown out. And I don't know whether that's a capture or post-production issue, but the contrast level there really bothered me. And then as you look at the edges, on the horizon line, they are just tack sharp and crisp and almost haloing to the point of being kind of over sharpened or poor masking. I just didn't feel the quality was up to snuff for merit. Wow. And great composition. 77 in the above average category. I had uh, some of the similar concerns. And then also in the foreground shadow areas, extremely, extremely dark. Um, I know this is a difficult exposure capture, but I think the maker just missed it. Wow. I was at 77 um, for the negatives already mentioned, and uh, although I do love the initial impact, this uh, neon blue stroke around the outside is just keeps pulling my eye out. It's like vibrating on the outside. I don't feel like it's a tone that belongs with this image. David? Yes, I scored actually quite high. I'm 85, and I scored it primarily based on visual impact. Uh, I do see the uh, problems that the other uh, judges have mentioned and uh, certainly would consider rescoring. All right. I was at, uh, I, was, sorry. Yeah, I was at 78 in the average category for both the positives and negatives. All right, let's rescore, please. Score is 78. Skylark season. Repeat the title, please. Skylark season. Thank you. It's 
76. Run as if your life depended on it. Night crew rush hour. Seventy eight. Catch me if you can. Seventy-seven. <clears throat> Rhapsody in blue. Eighty-three. Challenge. Yeah, I've got this in the excellent category in 86. Um, I, I see just lovely depth and dimension that was captured here. There's uh, the undulating um, shadow and light areas, the play of colors, the, the color palette and harmony that's going on here. Uh, very nicely done. Rob. I was at 81, and I thought the image had some good initial impact. I agree uh, with Bob's comments about the colors. I. For me, it's a, uh, the presentation is keeping me out of the next category. It's just such so bright, and I want to just enjoy the image, and I keep getting pulled out. David? Yes, I scored a 79, uh, presentation being too large, and there's not, a, for me anyway, a, a center of interest. The image is beautiful. Um, it also jumps out uh, and kind of, you know, hits pretty hard in terms of being so graphic uh, and you lose, at least for me, uh, just lose where the, the uh, center of interest is. But it, it's a lovely image otherwise. PG. I was at ET1 in the merit category. I, I love the color, uh, the play of colors here, the yellows and washes blues. Um, some of the issues to go higher was like, uh, I feel like the image has a quite a bit of a noise feel to it and also uh, some of the petals uh, have a halo going around uh, the top right corner I see one petal that, that way and a few other discolorations here and there uh, kept me into going into the higher categories. Gina. And this scored solidly as a merit at 80. I think it's so many wonderful attributes but the, comp uh, the presentation is a little overpowering for this image. Tim. Tim, that's me. Okay, 87, and I was, a little, I'm a little bit bitter because he beat me to the challenge. Uh, I'm totally in an excellent category. Um, this is an incredible play on color, on balance, on uh, contrasting colors and placement within the, in the frame of the, I mean, you see the triangulation of that lavender color, and then I love the treatment, which is consistent all the way throughout. I just really enjoyed it. The comment about the uh, haloing, uh, it kind of looks that way until you actually look around and see that there's a glow or an edge to each one of the petals. I really enjoy this a lot. The center of interest was mentioned, but the center of interest really plays off of what's going on with the color contrast and how your eye moves so easily throughout the frame. It's a really lovely image. Well, it's certainly nice to have your rebuttal done for you before you get there. Um, yeah, I'm still in the excellent category. Had the, the presentation not been so uh, quite so large, I'd probably be up into the superior category. Um, 86 for me. Score it. <clears throat> We're rescoring. Rescoring. 86. Spring Symphony. Mm-hmm. 
78. Warm glow. Eighty. Can I challenge an image from the please? Few few images back. Uh, it was a run like your life depends on it. Uh, I think it got us eighty. It was. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. We'll bring it back up. Run as if your life depended on it. Yeah. Uh, I think this image code is. Um, 80 or something. Uh, while it was going, I was observing something. I just want to make sure. Score was 80. The score was 80. Okay. I, I was at 78 in the above average category. Uh, uh, I just observed some clone tracks in the bottom of this uh, image. Uh, the contrast was an issue for me, but while it was going, I also observed uh, quite a bit of clone tracks, especially in the bottom middle portion of it and, and on the right. I just want to make sure we discuss this a little bit. Gina. I had this in an 83 soundly in merit, excuse me, soundly in merit category. I did not see that, that cloning. Thank you. Ma'am? I was in, I scored an 80 in the merit category, but the cloning tracks, uh, that's a great catch. Yeah, I was at a 77 um, for that, plus some other issues. Rob? I was also at an 80. Um, I did not see those either. Good good call on the challenge. David? Yes, I, I like the overall image. I did score it low, I think 76. Um, I think that the position of the elk uh, running looks like he's about ready to take a nosedive. Um, not that it's a diff I mean, an easy image to capture, uh, but in terms of looking at the overall image and you know wanting to have it displayed on my wall, um, I, I would have tried to capture you know uh, more images of the elk and put the right one in there. Okay, PG. Uh, thank you, no rebuttal. I just wanted to uh, you know, make a right. It's, I really appreciate the image. It's beautiful composition and uh, it almost feels like a fine art piece. Just uh, wonder to address those issues. I'll bet some. Let's rescore. Seventy-seven. Radiating glow. What number, Chris? No, oh, excuse me. Uh, we are. Uh, oh, Forrest, can you help me? And this is radiating cool. I, I misread the title. Excuse me. Uh, it's right after warm glow. Page forty-seven. Thank you. Radiating cool. Seventy-eight. Challenge. I'm I'm at eighty-two. Uh, I, I might be uh, overall like by the impact. Uh, uh, I almost feels like uh, this is iris of an eye, and you know the the, the creativity of the maker to take some uh, a chandelier or something like that and making it an art piece. I would love to talk about it. Gina, I end this at a seventy-seven uh, above average. And while I can appreciate the chandelier, the outside of the iris tends to draw me away from what should be the center of interest. And uh, that left me a little confused. Yeah. I was at 76. Uh, I was a little torn because it does have initial impact, but the more you look at it, the, uh, I tend to lose the idea of creativity. Uh, it's a nice shot, but I'm just not sure what the artist brought to it. Uh, 74 for me in the average category. Um, I feel, you know, if I look around the outside, there's a lot of um, noise or or some whatever bringing up. I don't know. Maybe it's a texture. Um, and then the super highlights on the bulbs themselves with uh, no detail. Well, was it 80 just in the merit category? 
Um, I think the image has some really cool visual design to it. Um, I like the effect around the outside. It helps bring me in to the chandelier and appreciate that. Um, I think it's even and balanced and um, uh, just felt a little bit underexposed to me in the outer areas. Uh, David. Yes, I scored a uh, 74. Um, and I think that the outer areas are in kind of a, a dark gray and it just doesn't really support the uh, I, I'm thinking that the in overall image contrast uh, areas just don't match each other. Um, and it doesn't really have a whole lot of visual interest. BG, rebuttal. <laughs> Thank you for the comments. Uh, I was taken by the initial impact. Uh, uh, I, I see some of the noise issues and also some kind of uh, uh, shifting going on. So I will uh, lower my score to 79. You score, please. <clears throat> 77. Misty morning. Eighty two. Challenge. Bob. Yeah, I'm at eighty seven. Um I think this is a sleeper right here. Uh, we have just such a lovely composition, uh, the replication of the mountain uh, in the, for, in the uh, stream or in the river. Um, lovely composition running through here. Just beautiful. Well, I was at 81. Um, I enjoy the initial impact of the image. I, I like the, the pastel feel to it. And I think that exposure is beautiful i i just um for me it's a presentation issue i'm i want to get in there and enjoy that image a little bit more and i feel like the border is very heavily done uh, david yes i scored an 80 on that and i love the imaging the image uh the presentation uh for me pulls away especially the heavy shadow around the outer uh key line area and um I think that the upper mountain and the sky could have been added some more uh, saturation because um, it's almost like it's falling away. It's more like the reflection. Oh, but however, overall, it's a beautiful composition. I'm willing to, you know, rethink my scoring. BG. I was at 75 in the above average category. Uh... I love the the mountain piece and the and the tree line that's going on, but uh, the presentation is so overwhelming that the contrast in the image is uh, very became very distracting. Uh, especially the most contrasty part of the image seemed to be the right side bottom, where the very we have the dark values against a very light border. Uh, it, it was very hard for me to go beyond that. And also, like, uh, the front elements being so saturated and sharp, I was not able to enjoy the scene fully. Regina. I had this in an 80, deserving merit, and I just want to take a running jump and land right in the middle of that water. It just feels like I can fall into this image. I do agree with the other jurors that the presentation is somewhat heavy, but it, because of the pastel feeling and because of almost postcard-like quality, and this, there, there's something in this image. I just think there's some situation or some issues that need to be addressed. Yeah. I was at 83, and actually, the more I look at it, the more I enjoy it. There's, it's kind of refreshing landscape. We try to hold down the highlight areas so that uh, they don't call so much attention to themselves. This is kind of like light and airy and fresh and crisp, and I really enjoy it. I did notice, however, the reflection has more contrast and is warmer and is almost sharper, uh, not quite sharper, but uh, the reflection is a, a lot more contrasty and brighter than what's going on in the actual scene in the mountain. That's unusual. I'm, I'm assuming that's probably an artistic interpretation, uh, but that might hold me out of the higher category. Rebuttal. Man, you know, I, I agree that there's a, you know, it's not perfect for the presentation that it's a little, uh, little heavy, but go inside. Um, 
when I'm looking at this, I just, as Gina said, I feel like I could jump in there and just splash that uh, reflection all to heck. Um, and also from my understanding is that uh, reflections will tend to be darker and um, you know more contrasty than the actual uh, subject that's being reflected. That's, or at least that's been my, my feel. Um, taking into account my, my fellow jurors, I'll be uh, moving to the top of the merit category at 84. Please rescore. 83. Mountain Trail. 77. Big Brother. 77. Four Essentials of the Concert Pianist. 81. Morning Mount Olympus. 78. Challenge. Okay. I am at 83. Uh... Uh, in a merit category, uh, just loving the composition, the details in the blacks and whites, and how we have these little elements in the foreground, uh, the little mountain peeking through. Would love to hear my fellow jurors' comments. Uh, Gina, I had this at seventy-six above uh, above average. I, while I can appreciate the storytelling techniques, there are so many little question marks I have, like the one great big black dot in the middle uh, where all the white is, the heavy stroke that is uh, within the presentation. And I, it's, you know, this is lacking a little creativity for me to go any higher. Um, I was at 77, the comment, I agree with the comment about the stroke and the presentation. Some of the snow areas look like they're just like overexposed and they're pulling back density and I really am not seeing an awful lot of detail there. So I'm listening. Uh, 76, it's been mentioned, but I will say that the black dot is a bird. Oh, Rob. 78 in the above average category for the negatives already mentioned. David? Yes, I was at 76. Uh, had. I've been there, at least from my perspective, I would have pulled back and made a wider view. Uh, there's the clouds just take up too much of the image space and they, you know, just uh, blur out the image interest. PG rebuttal. <laughs> we don't have too many snow mountains in Texas, so I had a lot of impact from this. <laughs> Thank you for the comments. <laughs> I will lower my score to 79. Rescore, please. 77. Kaleidoscope. 80. Fire morning flight. 
80, we have a majority challenge. Uh, Rob, why don't you take it? Okay. Uh, I'm at 82 in the merit category. I love the overall image design here. I love the color harmonies, the way the presentation works with the image, um, the way they've you know literally put the sun right in there, but it's not overpowering the photograph. I would like to have gone higher and a little bit of more crispness in the birds would have been helpful, but I enjoy this image. David. Yes, I scored a 79 just uh, below merit. Um, I'm seeing uh, circular banding uh, in the image. Um, also, I think that the presentation uh, pulls away from the image. It's There's a, a variable color pulling through the presentation, and then the key line is just overly bright. Um, so when I look at the image, there's visual interest. I would have... Um, you know, the two birds that are overlapping just pull away from the graphic, even though obviously you can't, you know, orchestrate where the birds are. And I think that the sun is too bright uh, for the image. So I pulled it just, you know, just below um, merit. Eugene. I, I was at 78 in the above average category. It loved the design. It was, it has so much impact. Uh, mainly due to technical issues, I, I remain in the lower risk category. Gina? I just did a 78, strongly up there in the uh, above average. Uh, for some of the things that were already mentioned, I mean, this has a lovely storytelling effect. Uh, and it has, you can almost hear um, the geese uh, honking. But with the uh, the color banding, you know, in the corners, the, the vignetting, however you want to put it, and that heavy, bright stroke, uh, it kept me out of the mirror category. Tim? I was at 82, really enjoyed the graphics, as mentioned, and the design. I was actually pretty impressed with what was going on with the technical aspects of photographing into the sun like that. Um, I am now seeing more banding on the lower right-hand side in particular, so I'm reconsidering my score. Yeah, I was at 75 in the above average category, it's been said. Okay. Um, let's score it and see what happens. Seventy-eight. Comfort. Score is seventy-five. Dawn's Mountain Splendor. Seventy-nine. Where cowboys roam. Eighty-five. I'm going to challenge that. So um, I love the image. I love the composition, love the design, the clouds it, environment. But I need someone to speak to me about technical aspects on this. I'm looking at the horizon line, especially in the major butte there, where it appears like the you're actually the masking is very poorly done. Looks like there's a overall um, burning in around that very edge and the crispness of that edge almost haloing and then I get all the way back to the very end of it on the left hand side and the edge is sharper than what's going on uh, on the actual mountains themselves. That should not be the same level of sharpness all the way across. It looks like a major masking issue to me. So I'm listening for some guidance. Bob. Yeah, I was at a 84 high end of the uh, merit category and 
Um, I noticed that, and that's what kept me from going up higher. I think the uh, black and white tones of this are just absolutely wonderful. The you know contrast was held. It's a tough time of day, but it's you know we've we've got uh, detail in the highlights uh, and pretty much detail in the shadows where it needs to be. Rob, I was at eighty just in the merit category. I did also notice the black uh, edges on there, and that's what was keeping me from going higher. David. Yes, I actually scored it fairly high for the overall compositional impact. Uh, and um, I didn't notice initially the uh, edge sharpening on the uh, horizon line. So I'm willing to uh, rescore based on that. I, I, I was at 88 in the excellent category. I love the composition and uh, all the details, the black and white quality of it, uh, the sharpness of it. I, I observed the sharpness um, at time when I, I gave us somewhat of a lenience there, uh, as in, uh, you know, just a benefit of doubt to the maker. Uh, but I'll be listening for the rebuttal. I'm, I'm just looking for the edges there. Gina? I had this solidly at 83. I mean, I could just hear John Wayne and John Ford just arguing back there, and, and it, it, it just that overwhelmed me with that. I am seeing the um, the darkening and, and buzz, but man, what an incredible image to be looking at, you know, just, just for the impact in the subject matter. Rebuttal. So again, I'm at a 78. I appreciate the comments. I agree with you completely. This is really well composed. The technique on this, everything is perfect except for the post-production. And if you look at that primary butte, there is a dark vignetting all the way around it, which would normally appear in masking. And I I don't want to um, give the maker the impression that this is actually up to snuff quality wise. I would ask you to reconsider not having it in the merit category. It's a post-production issue. And if this were addressed, I think this would go very, very high. Rescore, please. <clears throat> I'm glad there are Octobers in my life. Eighty two. Every which way. Eighty-four. The last trip home. Eighty-one. Shades of green. Challenge. I'm sorry. Nope. Oh, the last trip home. Yeah. Um, I have this at a 75 in the um, right in the above average category. Um, I'm seeing some um, artifacting that's happening big time over top of the building. Um, and I think this was a really tough time of day to make this image, but the, I think the maker uh, missed it. I just want to make sure we're in the right, right place here. Rob? I was at 77. Uh, it was lacking impact for me. I did not see the artifacting, um, and I was concerned uh, with some areas in the foreground, though, that seemed inconsistent. David. Yes, I scored this very high, 88. Uh, I just love this image. It's like you want to walk out there, bring some fabulous individuals out, you know, to take portraits of them, you know, against that beautiful building. Uh, it just pulls you in. The composition is wonderful. Uh, there are some technical issues which I didn't uh, look at initially, um, but I, I, I think it is very deserving of a merit. 
I I was at uh, 78 in the average category uh, yeah for some of the technical issues and uh, the color tone of the image. Uh I had this straight up at 83. I did not see the artifact and I was looking more of the atmospheric storytelling with this image and how lonely and desolate it felt. But now that I see those artifacts I can't really see them. Um I was at 80 and that's uh, been mentioned about the artifacting. I did not see that either. Uh I would also recommend the the make it consider uh presentation also it's a little bit too dominant. Uh no additional rebuttal 75. Let's score it. Seventy-seven. Shades of green. Seventy-nine. Seasonal sentinel. Seventy-nine. Hanging pink. Eighty-two challenge. You know, I have this in the seventy-eight, and I can so appreciate the technique that was used, along with the presentation. But as I look at the bottom of those uh, tulips falling down, it just goes into a completely darker color palette and becomes very smudgy, especially in the right-hand bottom. Tim. I was at 85 and considering going much higher uh at first it did not have a tremendous amount of impact but it's a very subtle image that really drew me in. I love what was done with the color of the background throughout and so how it moves you throughout the frame and then as I moved down the stems and into the flowers themselves I'm not sure what was done in post but I really like it. It's not overdone. It has a beautiful texture and quality to them. I'm not seeing the um the I'm not I'm not understanding the comment the previous comment about things getting a little bit heavy. I really enjoy this image and the more time I spend with it I'm finding more things to like. Yeah, I was at a I was at a 77 in the above average category and my concerns had to do with and I'm not sure if this is post or with some extra sharpening or whatever if you look at the um the stems they they have a very cut out feel really dark black um up at the top on the especially on the left one and then kind of instead of being a smooth um change going down it, it it's very bumpy i was at i was at 84 uh and right after i put it in i wish i had put it in higher um i uh i love the back I love the pastel painterly feel of the background and how they've used the pinker tones in the upper part of the frame and the more neutral tones towards the bottom to balance it with the pink buds which are down there. I see direction of light here which is beautifully done with bringing out the texture in the petals of the flowers. I think the presentation has a fine art museum quality to it. Um I I just think this image the more I look at it the more I like it. It's really great. Maybe Yes, I scored this an 82 and I would have scored it higher had there been some more color um in the bottom area. I just love the color palette up toward the top and I would have loved to have seen that carried throughout the image. It has a wonderful graphic impact and this is an image that I would love to have in my own home. PG I was at 82 in the merit category for both the positives and negatives mentioned love the color palette and you know how the uh, flowers were handled only issue I had was some of the uh, 
somewhat of a out of focus kind of a smudginess but i i took it as a technique that was used gina in rebuttal i've listened to uh, my jurors i i still feel that the bottom right hand toward the mat kind of falls out of color uh, color balance with this but uh i do think this is a wonderful subject and i will be raising my score to 80. rescore please Eighty-three. Danger, keep off in infrared sepia, t sepia tone. Seventy-six. Solitude. Seventy-five. Urban farming. Eighty-two. Impact. Eighty-six. Synergy of light and line. Challenge. Bob? Uh, wow. I'm at 90 here uh, at the bottom end of the superior category, and I really am enjoying this image. I love this impact, the, the repeating tones, the way this has been so delicately handled, the textures that are, are visible from top to bottom. Simple, uh, straightforward presentation. I, I think we should talk about it a little bit. David. Yes, I scored this an 81, certainly in the um, deserving of a merit category. Um, I love the image also. The presentation is too narrow for me. Uh, we've got these wonderful you know, lines and then they're kind of being held in a cage by the, the presentation. Um, I'm open to scoring a little higher, but that was the, the drawback for me. I was at 83 in the merit category as well, uh, and that was my hang up as well. I, I enjoy the patterns and the texture, but I think it's uh, too much on the face to enjoy them. I wish there was, the presentation was a little bigger so that we get a, a glimpse of it and enjoy the pattern more. But I'll be listening for the rebuttal. You know. It's at an 80 deserving merit, and I, I so wanted to go so much higher but I, I couldn't get past the dizzying effect of this and being such a small presentation for it. Um, if someone will explain that to me, I'm happy to go higher. Tim? I was at 87 and I was low and I was going to challenge and I actually realized I'm really low. So I'm, I'm definitely going up. I really enjoyed not only what's going on with the pattern and repetition, but there's some subtleties going on here that I think are incredible. For example, the contrast range changes from left to right. It kind of undulates just like the con just like the rest of the image. I love especially what's going on with the little specular highlights in there that are, again are not consistent all the way across. There's a change from right to left and it's very musical. Uh, it's really incredible. I'm going up to the next category for sure. Bob. Yeah, I was at an 82 and um... 
I'm thinking I missed it after hearing some of my fellow jurors. Take me home. We bought a rob. Well, I'm hearing the presentation's too big, and I'm hearing the presentation's too thin. I, the presentation is really not affecting me that much. I think the maker wanted to maximize this image. They used a thin presentation for that reason. You could turn this image in any direction, and it would look wonderful, whether we turned it upside down or vertical, whatever. I think it, uh, I love the way it's done though here. And um, I, I really appreciate Tim's comments as well, that you know, just this gradation of tones, we always wanna see these zones in black and white, and folks, the zones are all there. And, and it just really is a stunner and, I, and it needs, you know, it's a fine art idea and it's been executed really, really well here. I'm not asking for um, the exceptional category. I'm asking, ask, excuse me, asking for the superior category. I'm gonna raise my score to a 92 and I hope you'll join me in that category. Let's score it. Ninety-three, excellent challenge. Lake reflections. Eighty. We have a majority challenge. Challenge. EG, go ahead. I was at 84 in the top end of the merit category, uh, a beautiful uh, scene in front of us. Uh, we can almost see the, the rocks and the reflections and uh, sharpness across, uh, nicely composed. Uh, we have this uh, framing element on the right, left side of the image, which is leading us in. Would love to talk about it. Gina? And this in deserving, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, above average at 78. Uh, and while I can appreciate all the color palette the sand or the beach side on the left-hand side, I, I keep getting locked into that, uh, as well as, you know, I, presentation is everything, and, and I think a, it's just a little heavy for me to go up into the merit category. Tim? I was at 75, and the um, I appreciate the framing element on the left-hand side and the compositional design, but the framing element on the left-hand side, as I already mentioned, is way too bright and needs more saturation there. I got kill. I, I really brought it down because the mountains, it looks like there's no tea tail in the snow or the back mountains back there at all. It's just right on the edge white. Yeah, I was on the fence big time. I originally punched in an 80 and then quickly jumped down to a 79 um, as I was uh, looking at it further. I'm, I have, in addition to the things that were already mentioned, I have a concern with how the, the the middle of the shoreline there has gone just so, you know, so super contrasty. Rob? I was at 78 uh, for the reasons already mentioned. David? Yes, I was at a 79 uh, as well for the um, things that have been mentioned. EJ? Okay. Uh, uh, thank you for your comments. I, I see some of the things that were mentioned, especially <coughs> the, the middle line and uh, some of the detailing in the snow. I will lower my score to 79. Would you score, please? Seventy-eight. Frosty morning rays. Eighty, your majority challenge. Gina, you want to take it? You bet. I'm at eighty-five in the excellent category on this image. Wow. Okay, let's just start with impact. Boom, diggity, it's all over the place. All the detail you can see, and all these little frost-covered trees, and and, and and the hoarfrost that's on them, and the ethereal, excuse me, ethereal feeling that's coming through. It, it's almost like a lightsaber cutting through, and it just creates this wonderful atmospheric storytelling. Yeah. So I was at 77, um, not a fan of the presentation, but I love the image on the left-hand side, especially on the upper right. I'm sorry, the upper left coming down in. I mean, the left half, I love. The right, everything just pulls me to the right and straight out of the frame. And then I had issues with that misty parts. There it seems like there's areas in there that are just 
totally blown out. So I'm really listening. Yeah, I got into the merit category 81, um, and I too was uh, so totally enjoyed the uh, the hoar frost that's uh, scattered throughout this image. Um, the things that were mentioned as negatives were, were kept me from going up to the next category. I was at 78 in the above average category. Um, I, I did enjoy the initial impact. I had um, an issue with a feel like the whole image is kind of leaning to the right a little bit and it might just be the direction of the sun rays across there but also this area of the trees on the, on the left side there's there's a, a problem with sharpness in there there's sharpness in some areas and not in others and um and whereas the water out in between the camera position and those bushes is sharp i'm just kind of wondering what's going on there so get me out of the merit category david Yes, I was uh, at 78. Uh, the initial uh, impact of the image is wonderful, but as you look around, and especially without a, a, a complementary uh, presentation, it's you know it's just a picture. Uh, the presentation would have made such a big difference, and then pulling down the uh, stripe of uh, sunlight coming across. Pulling it down the density, I think, would have helped quite a bit, and adding some contrast to the uh, the water area on the lower portion of the image. PG, I was at seventy-seven uh, for both the positives and negatives mentioned, uh, especially the the overall feel and the, suddenly the the sun ray coming in and uh, it almost took away that feeling for me. All right, let's use square, please. <clears throat> David? He's um, not at his table. <laughs> we score, David. Yes, I'm sorry. Seventy-nine. Delicate. Eighty-six. Challenge. Bob? Yeah, I'm a uh, ten points higher than that. I'm at a ninety-six. Um, I have this into the uh, exceptional category. The uh, the way the bullseye comp uh, composition works with just the, how the flowers flow out from there and then get soft as they go to the edge. This thing is just absolutely exquisite. Rob. I was at 85 in uh, the excellent category, and uh, I felt like I might have been a little bit low. Um, I, I, I wish that the background areas weren't so blown out. I kind of get lost back there. I want to stay in here on the petals um, and uh, the center of the flower. I, I, I do enjoy the presentation, and, and I do think the image has a lot of impact. David. Yes, I scored this an 85, and I would have loved to score it quite a bit higher. The presentation to me just competes with the image. I like the outer area of the presentation, but I think one key line and a small shadow would have been adequate. That, that heavier outer uh, key line with the shading just pulls too much attention away from the beauty of the image. E.G. I was at 82 in the merit category, a beautiful, beautiful initial impact, a beautiful image. Uh, but my couple of struggles was that some of the petals seem to have a very uh, strong edge, whereas everything else in the image is very soft, uh, especially uh, one o'clock, the petal at one o'clock, 
uh, seems they just seem to be very sharp whereas we, if we come around uh, six o'clock uh, four, four o'clock all of those are very uh, soft and uh, uh, the image itself seemed to be mostly monochromatic but uh, the presentation has a little bit of a magenta tone to it uh, so it was uh, altogether the impact was uh, not as high for me okay let's score it um i'm sorry i'm sorry we have a couple more people yeah yeah, yeah. Um, my screen blinked and I I'm feeling a little insignificant over here <laughs> you know. I, had this, I had this at the deserving of merit in 80 and I would have loved it gone much higher I just saw a few things that I, if, if we can have addressed I might be able to do that as I look at the 4 o'clock uh, hand uh, on the end of the flower it's such a darker um, I don't even know how to explain it a darker area without it and also at like the uh, 7.30, I guess the best way, on the mat, there's also a, a darker splotch on the inside of the mat. Uh, and I know there's just nitpicky details because I would love to take this higher, but I just need those addressed. Yeah. I was in 82 and love it for all the reasons mentioned. It's really got a wonderful design with the symmetry, etc. I was having some of the same issues discussed with the petals, but my largest issue or biggest issue is I see a painterly image with this photorealistic or photographic little center placed in there that the treatment's totally not the same. There's no continuity between the center of the image and the rest of the image, and I'd love to have that explained to me. Rebuttal. I'm going in. <laughs> it looks like I have a little bit of an uphill uh, for some of it. Um, this the central portion. This to me is photorealistic all the way through. Um, it's just when they're they've sharpened that center just a wee bit more. And yeah, there's some sharpening edges, but I think that's what defines the flowers. If you don't have that extra little um, darkness around the edge of most of these uh, petals, then I think it's all just going to fade into nothing. The fact that the uh, the depth of field is shallow and gets nice and soft around the outside. Uh, works for me. Um, you guys have talked me down out of the um, exceptional category, but I still feel that this falls into the superior. Um, this presentation actually works for me in the fact that it's got a little bit of tone to it that really allows the flower to come up. I'll, I'll be lowering my score to a 92. Mm -hmm. Let's score it. Eighty-eight. Dawn rekindled. Seventy eight. The gathering. Anyone. I'll challenge that. So I know I have a long way to go and because we're only at 81 and I scored it in 87. But I would really like the judges to look at this not as an incredibly beautiful image, but an interpretive image. Uh, the color palette is a little edgy and a little squeaky and just feels a little odd. And then the treatment around this, the brush strokes are... Uh, Van Gogh-esque almost in the sense that they are chaotic and I think that's part of the whole presentation and the idea that the artist intended with this. I don't think this was, this was supposed to be an exercise in perfection, but it's more an exercise in emotional approach to uh, the subject matter. Yeah, the things that you just said are partly what brought me up into the merit category at an 82. Um, and I also, uh, I see the artistic thing and I, I see more of a um, uh, Cezanne uh, with the flat, flatness of the subjects on the, the table and such. Um, I see some, some issues with some little hot spots where maybe pixels weren't painted the rest of the way. Uh, you know, some issues there which kept me from going up to the next category. 
Uh, I was at 79, just out of the merit category. And as soon as I punched it in, I thought, man, I think I'm low on this. So I'm glad that you challenged it, Tim. Um, yeah, I appreciate those um, painterly qualities of the image. And I also enjoy that the makers applied like a, a canvas texture to this image as well, which I think is, is pretty cool. And um, it does have a very ethereal feeling to it. Um, and um, yeah, good challenge. David. Yes, um, I scored this um, as an 80, a merit-deserving uh, image, and there are many, many things I really love about it. Um, I think the key line is a little bit bright. I would have toned that down. Um, I would have loved to see a little bit more space uh, at the bottom, uh, below those beams. But otherwise, uh, the image has some spectacular elements to it, for sure. I'm open to uh, increasing my score. PJ. I was at 78 in the above average category. I appreciated a lot of qualities, the gathering, it was all there, but my struggle was the color tones, uh, the pumpkins and corn going into cyan tones. Uh, and uh, compositionally, like we go to the right side, uh, somewhere in the middle, we have the bright spot, which is the most contrasty spot. and those uh, leaves are leading us out of the image and nothing else to bring us back in. So compositionally, I was struggling and also the color tones. Gina? And this is 77 um, above average. And I think where I'm struggling, well, I could certainly appreciate the artistic tone and, and the, the painting techniques. I'd like to see it carried through through the entire uh, project. As I look around uh, in the top right hand corner where the little corn thingy goes up, it's just like a huge large black lump behind it uh, with none of that beautiful painting technique that they've used and also some of the parts within the basket you know, carry that technique all the way through and I could be a lot higher. Rebuttal. So excellent comments. Um, yeah, you trumped my Van Gogh with Cezanne and I would agree with you. Uh, the comment about the highlight area is uh, a really good one and I, but I think that's intentional. I think if, if you look at the skills skill set of producing this image, you had to know that the artists knew what they were doing, and I think that's intentional because if you don't, that's a really flat image, and that just gives a strong punch to it. I think the artist intended a lot of this stuff to be like fingernails on a on a chalkboard. It's supposed to be graded at us and just kind of poke us. The color palette to me is actually brilliant. It's uh, not classical at all, but it's very modern. The greens and the shadows and the Warmth in the highlight is like all the rage in all the movies right now. Uh, I really think that the continuity and the brushstroke, et cetera, I think this is intentional. I think the brushstrokes in certain areas are decided, decidedly chaotic, and in other places they're less so. So it's, it's very creative, very interpretive. I think it belongs in the excellent category. Please join me at 87. Eighty-five, very good. Priest Lake Magic. Seventy-eight. Good morning. Eighty one. What you looking at? Eighty-two. Reflections of a grand entrance. Seventy-nine. 
78. Crimson Impressions. Seventy-nine. I'm challenged, Jim. Okay. Yeah, and I'm going to challenge myself. Um, I scored this a seventy-seven, the above average category, and I think I missed it. Um, this is uh, really starting to work. I really enjoy the play of the flowers as they come compositionally. You know, going up into that nice S curve, going to the down to the bottom right corner, just that little hint on the right. The way the textures play, um, I underscored this and want to make sure I don't uh, pull this down. Uh, well, thanks, Bob. <laughs> you just barely beat me to it because I was at 81 and I was wondering why uh, we aren't all in that merit category. I mean, I think this is a, a, just a delightful image and the play on colors, the details, the textures, the simple presentation works for this image. And uh, yeah, I like to see it in the merit category. David? Yes, uh, I scored this um, at a 79 just below merit. Um, you know, it may just be me. I've seen so many images similar to this over the years that have been treated. Uh, the contrast seems high for the, uh, you know, the forest uh, canopy. Uh, I'm willing to go a little higher. Um, the composition is very nice. I just think that the, uh, what pulled me back was the, the contrast level. I, I was at 79 in the above average category. I, I was initially bothered by uh, somewhat of an over sharpening and saturation and the keystroke, but uh, I started appreciating the composition of it. Uh, so I'll really consider my score. I was at a 78 and I was teeter tottering. I, I guess for me, it was the over sharpening and almost the over saturation. But it is one of those images that once it sits there, well, it does grow on you. And um, um, I'm waiting to hear the rebuttal. I'm at 79. And uh, for most of the comments, especially about over sharpening and the contrast, but I, the, the super saturation on it, it just breaks a lot of the moss down into little blobs of color and it sucks all the subtlety out of it. So I'm listening for the rebuttal as well. Oh, get off your teeter-totter and come join me in the merit category because I'll be moving up. Uh, my initial stop was the, um, the, the contrast I thought was a little bit high. But then I realized that the, the contrast itself is kind of what's uh, bringing you around. It kind of takes you from left and then the, as the contrast gets darker, it takes you to the right. Um, I, I keep dancing around inside this image and I think that the, where the maker you know, sharpened everything to be just right. And I don't think that this is actually oversaturated as far as color goes. I think that that's pretty close. If you get out in the forest, we can be there. Um, I'll be changing my score to an 82. Rescore, please. Eighty-two. Curl. Title one more time, please. Curl. Eighty-five. Beautiful chaos. Seventy-nine. Redwoods. Eighty-five. 
80. Pavilion. Eighty. Uh, Tim, uh, could we go back to Redwoods, please? Let's finish this one up. Eighty. Uh, challenge. Oh, it was a challenge. You, Sorry. Uh, I I was at seventy-seven. Uh, Love the, uh, the the design of it and the texture of it. It's uh, just I see some halos, uh, especially on the top uh, one o'clock position. If you go from the center, like uh, somewhere in the middle. Uh, I see some uh, technical issues there. Just wanted to talk about it. I had this at an 81 in the Deserving of Merit category. I, I think I can address the, the halos. I think that's just where, as in the other parts uh, that have the little lighter colors, it's just part of the guide wire that's catching the sun as it's coming over from uh, the upper left. I think this is a really interesting design uh, composition and cool style um so I, I just want to hear the rest of my jurors Tim, i was at 83 love the design i'm not sure about the upper left hand side it kind of helped me back because it's so visually important um i'm not seeing the haloing enough to pull it out of the merit category for me um 81 it's been said rob uh, i was at 80 um for the reasons already mentioned yeah david I scored this uh, quite low, and my pullback was the uh, bright area in the upper left corner. Um, I think that could have easily been, you know, pulled down. But I'm I'm open to uh, bringing this, my score up. BG. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to interpret uh, what I'm seeing. So probably I didn't. Uh, explain it well or I might be mis misreading those uh, like when we go at one o'clock along those uh, just uh, somewhere to the middle we I see some some blues in the sky that that are faded compared to everything else and those patterns are there in multiple places uh, I see some of those sun flares I am uh, the white and uh, all that but uh, I see a clear demarcation I will stay at 77 uh, but yeah, in a rescore, please. <clears throat> David, mm hmm. Rescore, yes. Mm. We're um, 80. Are we going back to Redwoods? Yes, Redwoods. Rob, was that you want to challenge us? Uh, yeah, I believe I was at 76, Five. 75 on this image. Yeah, um, I have some issues here with this image. I, I don't believe this should be in the merit category. I, I don't think that our primary subject here is sharp. Um, and maybe we got taken with the colors and the depth of the image, but um, I feel like at the very least we need to have our main subject sharp and I see a lot of very soft areas. I know that there's it's a foggy morning and everything, um, but I just like think we should maybe take another look at this one and talk about it. David? Yes, um, the colors in this are amazing. I, I've been to those areas and it's a great presentation of what you see. Um, I would have liked to score this a little bit higher, uh, but the center of interest does seem a little bit heavy. But I'm I'm still thinking that this is in a merit category. PJ, I was at 81 in the merit category. I, I loved the three-dimensional feel of it. Uh, I. Uh, I, I, I took it as a technique, as in like a, this uh, a glow kind of a technique that was going on on the tree. And even when we come to the right side, we see those, even though they're sharp, there seem to be a little bit of a glowiness to it. Uh, but I'll be listening for the rebuttal. Gina? It is in 79, right there on the border. I am bes beside the softening effect on the redwood. 
If you go follow the crack of the redwood down to the bottom, I, I really lose detail in that shadow. I mean, I can see a tiny bit, but it just kind of falls into a big black hole. Uh, I do enjoy the, the way it's presented, but those things just kept me out of the merit category. Tim? It's at 77. Um, besides the sharpness issue, which I don't understand because it seems like you have sharpness in the foreground on the right-hand side and then sharpness behind it, but I was really concerned with uh, what appears to be a post-production technique of either lightening or dodging or uh, whatever. It doesn't. It seems very uh, unevenly applied to me, especially on the right-hand side going all the way down. It looks like they just took a brush and lightened a particular area, but things that got caught in the middle in there that shouldn't have been lightened, uh, it, it doesn't feel to me like it was professionally applied. It seems a little underdone. Yeah, I was at 81 in the merit category. Um, I, I think that the, the maker, you know, did soften this. Uh, it kind of feels like it has a, a, an Orton effect there. Um, also, to me, that wood isn't probably, you know, it's this is older wood that's been exposed and if you look to the like it was, it was said that we have sharpness to the front sharpness to the rear so i don't think it's unsharpening of the um, redwood itself it's just the the weathering of it that's partially softening it up in addition to the other and i really enjoy strangely enough that little light patch that takes us off into the distance on the right hand side rebuttal well in rebuttal i i do enjoy the the atmosphere of the image and and I and I think the maker has found a beautiful scene here I just don't think it's been executed very well uh, technically I think we're sending the wrong message to the maker by putting it in the merit category and in addition that this large tree just to the right of the big redwood the dark tree just to the right if you look down the right hand edge of that, there's been something done there that's not a natural pattern in the bark on that tree there's been some uh, editing problems there that they tried to clean up and it uh, it's kind of muddied together the textures there and that that wouldn't naturally occur with the bark on a on a redwood tree so i i'm i'm concerned there about some things that are going on so uh, i'm gonna uh, keep my score at uh, 76 and um i appreciate your comments me score please Seventy-eight. Nightworks. Gina? Um, DQ. You, you got it? Okay, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, it just didn't go through. Sorry, I'm having trouble with this score pad. Just a second. Time out. Yeah, we're going to have to take a time.
I'm going to do that right now. All right. Welcome back, everybody. We're still in the photographic open illustrative category. The, uh, the final score for Nightworks is 81. Who can resist my colors? Eighty-one. UW Cherry Blossoms. I'm sorry, title again, please. UW Cherry Blossoms. Seventy-nine. Curvy. <coughs> Eighty one challenge. Uh, <clears throat> I'm at seventy eight on this image. Boy, I wanted to merit this image. I did. I love the lines. I like the compositional design here but we got a lack of detail in this image and also this shadow heavy shadow coming from the mat it's actually intruding into the image is i find it very distracting and and uh kept me out of the merit category david yes um actually this uh image has been presented in many different ways uh today so far I think compositionally, this is the most beautiful. I do see that that um, presentation shadow is a bit deep. So, uh, but I still think it, it deserves a merit. Lord David, Eugene, the score was eighty one. Yes, sorry. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, I was at eighty one on this image. I I am seeing sharpness across the image, and I was loving the lines. I I was bothered by the drop shadow but that didn't keep me out of the merit category. Uh, I had this at 81 as well. Uh, I did see the drop shadow, but I loved the undulation and there was something so, I don't know, relaxing about this image within it. So uh, I'm, I'm, I wanna hear what the rest of the jurors have to say, please. I was at 83 and uh, love the graphics as mentioned. The drop shadow, that's a solid comment. The presentation is uh, kind of an issue, but I, I wouldn't hold it out of the mat and the merit category for that. The sharpness to me feels very atmosph atmospheric and believable. Yeah, I was at a 77. I'm I'm right on the same page with Rob. I feel like we're part of it's blooming from maybe a little bit of oversaturation, especially on that right hand um, diagonal that's running out of the frame. Um, yeah, I've I've got some issues with this as well. Okay, well, in rebuttal, um, I, I hear you agreeing with my comments, but um, I, I, maybe I need to articulate better here about this upper right hand, excuse me, lower right hand corner. If we look at this hillside, um, you know, there's there's very little sharp detail in that hillside there. And um, even, you know, the greens are kind of blocking together in there. And then we get into that shadow, it gets all muddy. And um, I think this image has a lot of potential and I think it, it could score higher, uh, you know, at a next level of competition. But I, I think we need to send a message to the maker here that it needs some a little bit of work um, to be in that merit category. Free score. <clears throat> Seventy nine. Majestic. Eighty one. A beautiful place to grow. Eighty 
80. Country Charm. One more time, please, on the title. Country Charm. Country, is that what you said, Chris? Country, Country Charm. Thank you. Sorry. Eighty-one. Refreshing. <coughs> Seventy-five. Can we bring back um, Country Charm? Country charm. Yeah, I, I scored this a seventy five, and I have I have some issues, and I just wanted to make sure that um, they you know that the maker sees this. Um, if you look at the the frame that was placed on it down at the bottom, there's some strange uh, blue that doesn't look like it's you know part of a treatment, and then the uh, the way the image just kind of falls. apart. Part. I like the idea of this. The concept is really cool, but I think we're falling a little bit short for merit. Rob? Oh, uh, yeah. I was at 84. Good challenge, Bob. Just as I as the image went away, I saw that um, those big blue blotches at the bottom. There is some color tones speckled throughout that green border in the other areas, but then there's just so heavy there, and I didn't even see that until the very end. Um, so, yeah, we probably need to talk about that. David? Yes, I scored that an 83. I actually like the, uh, the, if you would call it, coloration in the outer frame. That's rather unique. I've not seen that, you know, before. And I think it really gives the impression that there's a physical, you know, frame that this is mounted in. Uh, I love the, uh, the, the overall image effect. The, the legs going out of focus are what would hold me back from a little higher score. Uh, but I think this is definitely uh, a, a, a meriting uh, image. I was at 77 in the race category. Uh, beautiful, beautiful watercolor uh, type of technique, uh, pastel colors in the image. Um, uh, composition was a problem for me, uh, the right side, uh, the chair touching the edge of the frame and also uh, from the presentation, other than the blues, the drop shadow only coming from the left and the top, but not being there on the other sides. A few other things uh, kept me going into the merit category. I was just at uh, 80 at the merit and I did not see those blue lines. Thank you for bringing that back. Yeah. I was at 79. I saw the blue lines and I thought maybe they were trying to have something in the image project out or whatever, but um, I generally will not hold a image out of merit category just for presentation alone. Uh, I really enjoy the image. I, I think I would probably be with a reasonable presentation somewhere up in maybe in uh, almost the excellent category, but um, presentation really does hurt this. Yeah, I, and it's yeah it's been said uh, that's where i am and uh unfortunately you know we have that and then the you know uh, pg mentioned the the compositionally that it was falling a little bit short also to me that uh, the spout is probably the sharpest thing on the image and uh, you know it's not the the most attractive part of it um 75 for me let's score it Seventy-eight. Nature's geometric design. Seventy-nine. Pelican progression. Seventy-nine. 
repeat the title again? Pelican Progression. Pelican Progression? Pelican Progression. Seventy-nine. Spread your wings and fly, little one. Seventy-nine. I'll challenge. Yeah, I've got that as an 82 in the merit category. This is a, a great capture of the bird itself. Um, the artistic treatment that kind of softens everything up, I think, works for this. Um, had it had a little bit more snap, I'd probably be up in another category. Um, I was at 80 uh, in the merit category. Um, I, I didn't love the presentation, but I'd love the bird in this. It's so... Um, exquisitely captured here. Um, and I like this texture that they've applied to the background. I think that's fun. And they were careful not to put it over the bird, but then they put it over the flower. So that was kind of keeping me from going up. And then the depth of field issue on the right hand side. David. Yes, I scored this as a 78. Uh, I think overall the background is too bright and then the um, smudging of the flowers um, pulls away from it. A wonderful capture. Um, but the, you know, the, the border around the presentation is too heavy, uh, too bright and those other items that have been mentioned. <clears throat> I, was at, I was at 76 in the average category, uh, a beautiful color tones from the background, especially what uh, my struggle was uh, the lighting. Um, the, the flowers seem to be very bright and taken in a, a bright daylight kind of situation and uh, some of the depth of field issues and also Above the flowers, we see some kind of a shadowing of those flowers onto the background, all those pink uh, colors being smudged into the background. Uh, yeah, I was just uh, struggling with a uh, few of the elements in the image. Gina? And this is 77 for all the positives and the negatives. Yeah, I was at 77 and uh, for all the positives and negatives, but for me, the flowers the color saturation totally disappears. Looks like it's totally overexposed. As you get towards the bird itself, it seems like it would be more appropriate to have the same level of saturation all the way across it that you have on the right. I consider myself schooled, and thank you for correcting me. I'll be scoring a 76. David? Yes. Are you asking for a score or another comment? Yeah, I got it. No, I okay. 77. <laughs> Into infinity. Seventy-eight. Flowing. Repeat the title again. Flowing. Seventy-nine. Looking for dinner.
Tim? Sorry. 81. COVID campus. Seventy-eight. Winter Solace. Eighty-four. Challenge. You know. And this in an eighty-five and deserving excellent. And I think I may be really low. Ooh, oh. <laughs> well, let's just talk about the color balance. You know, the title is Winter Solace. And you have all these blues and frosties and silvers and, and, and whites. And it just brings such an atmosphere effect to this image. But part of what it is the creativity and absolute impact when this rolls around. Uh, let's talk about this image. I was at 82 and uh, love the image. It's really interesting, though. Normally, we would bring some of those highlight spots down. Uh, but what this does, it adds so much depth to it and so much contrast. And it really moves you around the frame quite well. I might look at the hills on the left-hand side uh, and bring those down in tonality. But, I am again, it has a very light and fresh feel to it. I enjoy it. Yeah, I got to the high end of the merit category at 84. Um, presentation is nice and clean. It's nicely done. Um, and I really, really enjoy everything that you just said. But then I look over top of the um, the right-hand side um, uh, hills there with the hoarfrost. And if you look up above there, um, totally blown out um, highlights. And then the way the um, right in the very center of the image, those clouds in the top there, if that was burned down a little bit, I think it would really help um, not just kind of lock us in the middle there. Um, I was at 84 at the, also at the high end of the merit category and, and wanted to go higher. Um, and uh, the, I, I enjoy the impact of the image a lot. And I think the presentation has been well done, but um, the technical issues already mentioned are what were kept me from going to the next category. David? Well, I was really drawn in by this image substantially. Um, I didn't initially see the um, over bright uh, highlights, um, <clears throat> but the presentation is so well done in terms of co uh, complementing the image, keeping that lower area just a little bit, you know, wider uh, or taller than the other three it is a great uh, presentation of this image and overall the colors the it's um, the only thing that would help me back from uh, going to maybe excellent uh, or superior would be just the highlights I think it is deserving of at least um, an excellent uh, category EJ I was at 81 uh, for all the positives and negatives mentioned in rebuttal, um, I, I I see what my jurors are saying. I can see that on the right hand side above the hoarfrost. I see that is where the sun's coming up and over, and you know it creates that prismatic effect of, of going through the clouds, especially in the winter, because you know the sun is so much more in, in your mind's eye. It comes across not as watery, but actually more bright as it rises over anything that has frost on it. Uh, I do agree with the clouds uh, that. I cannot change, uh, but I to still believe this is um, deserving of uh, the excellent category uh, and a well done image. Uh, come vote your conscience, but I'd appreciate it if you come up with me to 85, please. And your scores. Eighty five. Thank you. Mount Baker.
78. Dwell in starlight. Three challenge. Good. I think that this uh, image is deserving of an excellent category. Um, it's just so picturesque and serene, and just overwhelming in terms of the the beauty of the Milky Way. Um, the you know just before sunset. Uh, I think it's an exceptionally well done image. Uh, perhaps the um, the lower portion of the image could have been narrower, narrower, <laughs> if I can say it. Um, but otherwise, it just pulls you in so beautifully. I was at 80 in the merit category. Uh, I love the Milky Way, uh, how it is captured and the sharpness of it the silhouette, uh, the composition. I was seeing some shadowing from the, 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 the building there and you know around the trees a little bit. Um, that, that's what kept me going into higher scores. You know, this square league in 82, and I would have been much happier to go higher, but there is a color blocking problem around the, what do you call it, the, the windmill, windmill as far as that. And also on the trees on the very far right hand side and the building on the very far left side. But I, I do agree this 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 has so much appeal. So much appeal. Yep. I was at eighty four. Uh, love the graphics as already commented. Uh, I am gonna be listening to the rebuttal. I'm kinda right on the fence on this as far as the next category. Bob. Yeah, I was eighty three firmly in the merit category. Um, I obviously this was done in very dark sky area and I think feel like the the maker actually rendered the stars too much and allowed too much of the stars to come through that could have been toned down and then the milky way could have really um stood out the silhouettes are quite nice and um the color changes in the foreground are um <clears throat> to my mind not from a sunset but possibly um what they call light pollution and uh so color wise that all works for me um I was at 80 in the merit category, and it's all been said. Rebuttal, David. Well, um, yes, I, I see those elements which were brought out, um, and yet the overall impact of the image is just so inviting. It just you just want to sit there and you know drink it in. Um, I'd like to see it in the uh, the excellent uh, category. You score, please. Eighty-five. Good challenge. Yeah, thank you. Popping wheelies. Seventy-seven. <clears throat> Canyon Blanco. Seventy nine. Diva. Seventy-seven. Frozen beneath the ice. Seventy-eight. 
79. Challenge. Rob? Um, I said 82, just in the merit category at 82. Well, actually in the middle of merit category. I, um, gosh, I think this is a really cool concept. I love the title. I like the impact of the image and, and this idea of photographing the flower underneath the ice. It gives it this painterly effect. Um, we have detail in the highlights um, and we have some um, really interesting patterns created by the ice overlaying the flower. Um, I'd like to hear your comments about it. David, I scored this um, at a 78. Um, there are a lot of things to like about this image. It just feels like it's too constrained. Uh, <coughs> And maybe even a horizontal uh, presentation would have uh, worked better. Um, I, I just feel like it's being kind of held in by the edges. Um, the, the tone values, the color, the idea the, uh, is lovely. I just think this should have been a horizontal image. I, I was at 80. Oh, sorry. David. Oh, I just would say, I think that the lower half of the image has interest, but, you know, cropping it down and elongating it, I think would have given that center area with the bubbles somewhere to go, it's create more movement. The petals are pushing us to the right. The bubbles are pushing us to the right, but there's no place to go. I was at I was at 80 in the merit category. I I enjoyed the uniqueness of the subject matter, the color palette. Uh, um, yep. I had this at 78 and deserving a merit. Or excuse me, I'm sorry, <laughs> above average. Uh, and and maybe I just missed the impact of it all, but um, I, I, it just didn't strike me as quite as moving as maybe some of the other jurors. But I am willing to 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 listen to the rest. I was at 78, and uh, thank you for bringing this back, because the more time I spend with this, the more sophistication I see. I don't know what was done in post-production. If it naturally occurred that way with the luminosity levels, where you have the white coming out from the center area, and then it falls off nicely to the darker tonalities. I lo love the asymmetrical presentation, but the lighting levels on that are really sophisticated and beautiful. I think the bubbles on the right, when you look at it, the compositionally, the triangulation, et cetera, point straight back to the center of interest. Uh, I'm gonna actually go probably to the high merit category. I'm enjoying this so much. Yeah, I was a 78 in the above average category. And you know, I don't know if it was too deep in the ice that it pulled so much attention away from me. And uh, the um, the keystroke is real. I mean, the tones of this are just, it doesn't seem to where it just feels so down. Um, and I, I think that the, the image of the flower is so bright and exciting, but the rest of it, it just feels like it's being brought down to me. Rebuttal. Okay, hey, well, in rebuttal, um, you know, judging the image as presented, uh, I think that the maker's done a, a nice job with the crop here. We've got this great symmetrical balance between the bubbles and the, the main bud of the flower. And again, the, the textures that are provided over the top, I think might be what are distracting some of you. For me, it's what makes it work. And it goes with the title. So we have some storytelling happening here. We have um, a, a really nice job of creativity and um, I think that uh, the color harmony is, is consistent throughout the image. So I hope you'll just join me up in the merit category and uh, I appreciate your comments. Please rescore. Eighty-three. Thank you. Three doors down. Anyone? Safe. <clears throat> Eighty-one. 
82. A Bird's Evening Song. Eighty-two. Life after the disaster. Tim, did my score come through? Yes. Okay. 79. Mexican ferns. Take one more thing, please. Mexican ferns. Eighty-two challenge. I'm at, I'm at eighty-six and uh, excellent category. Um, just the tonal range, the three D nature of it, the fine art uh, museum presentation. Uh, loving it. Would love to hear Michael Rogers comments. I had this at seventy-nine above average, almost to the merit category, and I so appreciate the almost silver metallic quality of these. Ferns, palm fronds. I think the only thing that maybe is holding me back a little bit is almost over presentation. It's almost a little bit too much because I really want to stay within this image. Well, I scored this a uh, 81, and I'm not normally bothered by white bats. As a matter of fact, I normally appreciate them because they give them a museum esque feel. Uh, this one for me is a little bit overpowering, and I think because I have to move in close really to see the beauty of what's going on with the imagery. But I was still very much in the 81 category, in the merit category. I can see myself coming up uh, because it really does have a level of sophistication, rhythm, movement, design that really is lovely. Uh, yeah, I was in the merit category 81 for the positives. Yeah, I was at 82 in the merit category. Gosh, what a gorgeous home decor piece this would be. Um, and again, the, the symmetry of it is just uh, lovely, but I agree with the comments about the presentation, but I'm listening. David. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> uh, I scored this below a merit at uh, 78. And uh, what held me back are the, uh, the dark areas where there's not very much going on. Um, I'm also influenced by so many images of this nature that have been done by, for example, Ansel Adams, where the tonal values are softer and richer, richer in the sense where we've got uh, more detail and more subject interest in those darker areas. Certainly, there are some very interesting patterns and look to this, but I'm just held back by the um, starkness of the backdrop of, of the presentation against the lower key values of the image and also the uh, the dark areas in the lower right and upper left uh, areas of the, of the image. BG? Hey, uh, thank you for your comments. Uh, I, so the presentation actually was, I, I, I'm interpreting that as another layer of the image and it is help because the edges of the image itself is dark. Uh, so this is a ha adding as one more layer and then we have this darker layers and as we grow layer by layer by layer, we have about four layers of leaves which is going up in the brightness value again. So it, it was just working in a very beautiful way. Uh, even though we have some dark areas on the lower right and the top left, we see the leaves and the details. And without those dark areas, the 3D effect and the layering of it uh, won't work. I think it's a very conscious choice by the maker. 
Uh, I'm very comfortable at 86. Rescore, please. <clears throat> Eighty-four. Waves of wheat. Eighty. Don't mess with the bull. Bob, there you go. 80, we have a majority challenge. Rob, you want to take it? <laughs> well, um, I was at 82 in the merit category, and I, right after I punched it in, I saw three things I missed. So um, I was taken by the impact and the texture and um, the, uh, the strength of the image. Um, but um, I'll, I'll let my fellow jurors make their comments and then we'll come back to mine. David? Yes, so the impact initially is fabulous. Um, you know, the the um, missing part of the ear fading into the background and the background is so indistinct. It's like it looks as if it's been dropped on top of a background um, rather than a background being out of focus. Uh, the texture and the image impact of, of the bull or whatever it is, is fabulous. The soft edges uh, over on the left of the uh, composition, uh, or what appear to be somewhat soft edges, just don't lend themselves to um, whatever that background is. It's just... Um, can't tell what it is. It looks like it's been added rather than actually part of the original image. So that holds me back in terms of going higher uh, in my score, which is an 81. I was, I was at 77. I appreciate the color palette, uh, but uh, due to technical uh, aspects of it, I remained in the average category. I had it at 79, and I was riding the fence until I happened to look down at the bottom part of the lower jaw uh, on the other side of his snout, which would be camera left, and it's just not existing um, with that. Um, and as well as the halo around the horn on the right-hand side on top on the inside. Yeah, I was at 79, and I love this image. Great amount of impact. Color palette and uh, color harmonies are wonderful. The comment about the horns, it killed me. I was looking at the right the camera right horn in that halo around it. And then if you go to the camera left one, there's kind of a negative halo around it. The edges are just too sharp on the horn as far as the selections. Great image. By the way, the nose is starting to look really awkward and weird. But um, it's mostly post that this would go so much higher. Uh, 77, it's been said. Rebuttal. Uh, majority challenge, wasn't it? Yeah, but oh, that's true. Okay. Yep. You score, please. <clears throat> 78. Cabinet Mountains. Seventy-five. Tim, can we take a five? Um, yeah, let's make it. Could you? Um, I need to talk to the judges first. Yep, going on quick break, everyone.
All right, and we are back. Mm-hmm. I gotta find uh, where we're at on here. There we go. Which way? Seventy-seven. Wave spectrum. Eighty-one. Chain of command. Eighty-five. Challenge! Oh, easy, girl. <laughs> <laughs> easy. Just blew my speakers out. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I feel that strongly about this. I had this at a ninety. We are in the superior category. Everything about this is just over as a board with storytelling and technique and the way you've used it, using the natural light to show off all those feathers and bring those body things. I don't want to talk about them out too much, but I mean, this is really impactful and off the hook. Gina, turn your microphone down. Yeah, it's <laughs> okay. getting, getting to me. All right, will do. So I scored just a 78, and I could be completely off the mark on this, so I am listening very closely. But the bird, to me, in the foreground, the edges just feel very unnatural, and it feels very two-dimensional compared to everything else, which is so wonderful in the image. So please talk to me. Um, I was in an 81 for the exact same reasons. I got into the merit category, but I do have a concern there. Uh, I was at 84 in the merit category. Um, I assumed the bird in the foreground was in flight or as landing, and so we have a little bit of movement in the wing of that bird. But I think the storytelling here is fantastic and felt like I might be a little bit low and uh, just a, a really compelling image. David? Yes, I scored this an 88, and um, if that bird wasn't there, the, the black and white bird, I mean, it would be over the top. Not to say that it didn't capture it properly, but <clears throat> it, the, the, bird, the black and white bird doesn't fit the scene, but still, the impact is so amazing. I was mm-hmm. at eight, I was at eighty two in the merit category for the storytelling aspect and the composition, uh, the the chain of command, so the birds waiting and all that. So yeah, uh, but uh, some of the technical issues, the lighting and uh, uh, that bird, little bird, feeling like it's out of place, especially the lighting and other uh, color tones not matching. In, re- in rebuttal, I'll address lighting. We are looking at an outdoor, probably a bright sunny day with everything, re- all the uh, lights reflecting off of the snow. Uh, the little bird in front, he just got told to hack off because it's a big bird's meal first. So, I mean, he's trying to get his, his tail out of the way. I, and I think as well as the other hawk eaglet, I'm, I'm, I'm not a bird expert on that, I, waiting its turn. I think there's something so incredible about this image, and we really need to reward the maker. You know, um, I may have got overexcited at 90, but uh, I, I'm going to have to vote my conscience because I think this is a fabulous image. Score, please. That mic is still really hot, Gina. Okay, I'll see what I can do here. Thank you. Eighty-six. Thank you. Artistic nature. Eighty-five. 
looking towards a brighter future. Eighty-two. Wishful. Seventy-eight. <clears throat> Taking flight. Seventy-eight. Peaceful path. Seventy-eight. We are now moving on to the portrait category. I'm going to leave this up here for the slide up here for just a second so we can find it a little bit easier when you're scrubbing through and rewatching all these. Okay. The Thinker. 81. <clears throat> High above in the midst of it all. Seventy eight. Atop his throne. Challenge. Yeah, I've, I've got this in the above average category at a 77, and I'm not sure where it's happening, but it just has such a cutout feel from, and I, it could be that the, we were sharpening the, the tree and the eagle uh, to allow the sky to fall off or to blur the sky, whichever way it happened. Um, also, underneath the eagle, there's um, you know a highlight that I uh, feel has uh, been missed if they were darkening down the background. Rob, uh, I was at eighty-one. Um, I, you know, I saw a, a little bit of a, of a line there on the beak of the bird. But I, from my perspective, this was an extremely long lens and uh, a shallow depth of field. I mean, we have some softness in the branches in the foreground, but that eagle is just so sharp and uh, the details rendered nicely. So I was in the merit category. David. Yes, um, I'm also in the merit category with the 82. Um, the image has great impact. Um, <clears throat> good, good image compositional balance. Um, I see that the background might be more out of focus, but you'd have to have a long lens with that. So I'm, I still hold uh, with my 82. Eugene. I was at 77 in the average category for a very cut out feel and some of the smudginess around the edges and also for the composition of the image. Gina? I just at an 83 and I appreciated the composition of the image with the, the branches basically making the letter E and when he's sitting on it, so it's like Eagle's Throne. Uh, I, I can see the cutout now and, but you know, the amazing feathering on this bird is just wonderful. Um, ah, um, I was at 79 for the cutout reasons, and I'm just looking at the, the edges of the bird's wing and the edges of the bark, and it does not match the edges of the outside of the cutouts. Uh, no additional comments. Uh, 77 for me. All right, let's score it.
78. Hey, you talking to me? A century of joy. Eighty one. A rose in December. Eighty three. Challenge. Challenge. I heard PG first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was at seventy seven in the average category. Uh, Cute subject matter and good styling uh, of the image. Uh, uh, my struggle was uh, with the discoloration, especially on the bottom right, um, and also some of the cutout feel on the hair. Would love to hear the comments from the fellow jurors. Gina. Oh, man, I, I had this at 84, and I did not see that. Thank you for bringing that up. Hmm. Yeah. I was at 84. I agree about the cutout hair. It could have been done better. The discoloration, um, I guess I see it. That still wouldn't bring me down out of the category, though, but it's a lovely, lovely image. Yeah, I'm at 84 as well, and um, I have this, this, the same feeling as the, my fellow judges there in front. <clears throat> uh, I was at 86, and uh, I was super excited about the image. Um, I, I did not see the area there on the arm in the bottom right corner, but I don't feel like the hair is cut out. And the lighting here is just so beautiful on this little face and her, her um, the attitude in her eyes. And it's just a very captivating portrait for me. I'd probably come down to the merit category. David. Yes, I scored this below a, a merit at 79. And the primary thing that held me back was the uh, the cutout. It, appears as if the background has been replaced. I know that's tricky uh, to do well, but there are just areas all around the outline of the the hair and the, the flowers that just appear to be not brought into the background uh, completely. Uh, otherwise, the image is lovely. BJ, rebuttal. Uh, yeah. Uh... So I, I agree that it's a beautiful image with a lot of good qualities, but uh, from a technical perspective, uh, uh, the, the right side arm, uh, there is a lot of patch, other than the distillation, there is a lot of patchiness going on there and also the flowers creating some kind of shadows and uh, the gap between the arm and the mm -hmm. body, there seem to be some kind of uh, distillations going there as well. So I will be at 77 in the average category. Please respond. Seventy nine on the west side. Seventy seven. I surrender. Three. Challenge. Yeah, and I may have underscored this myself. I'm an 88 in the excellent category. Um, the title of this just really feels, I mean, I just feel her, um, you know, floating the way she is. Uh, the artwork that was done on this, the way this uh, dress kind of uh, feathers off, uh, a lot of really good things going here. Rob? I'm at 80. Um, 
gosh, I wanted to 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 go higher, but there's a couple things that are bothering me about the image, and that's number one is her right leg. It just feels so cut out and awkwardly pointed there. I, I just, um, I'm not understanding why everything else is so soft along the edges and that is such a sharp line there. And then she's just feeling kind of lost. Like there's so much space here, um, especially off to the left. And I wanna just get in there and enjoy her. David? Yes, um, I scored this at an 81 um, in the merit category. Lovely presentation. Uh, I love the colors in the background. The background is uh, more dominant. Um, and once again, just the, the cutout appearance of the right leg. I was at 83 in the merit category. Uh, love the image, the, the overall feel of it is so beautiful. A um, couple of issues for me is the composition, uh, very central composition for the title and the story. Uh, also, between the arm and the face, we have this redness that's going on, which is not there anywhere. Even if it's reflecting from the hair, it should be spread out, but it kind of stops right in that area and doesn't go anywhere else. Uh, and, uh, yeah, those are my struggles to go into higher categories. Gina? I had this at 84 uh, for a few, a few of the negatives, but one of the things that concerned me was when I look at her leg closest to the camera, the triangle between her legs has kind of a skin tone feel, but causes her upper thigh to look really distorted. Uh, that, and, and as well as what already has been mentioned, is what kept me from going even higher, but I was at four. Tim? Yeah. I was at 78. I enjoy the image from the torso up where it has a place. It feels like it's underwater, and it everything's just believable for me, but from the top shoulders down it feels just like totally cut out the one leg's been mentioned but everything else has no space or place it just feels like it's pasted on there oh thank you guys um you're killing me here but um i do agree with uh the issues that were brought up i'll be lowering my score to a 79 but i i feel that there's some exquisite things going on here please rescore 79 Midnight Butterfly. Seventy nine. Mommy, hold my horn. <clears throat> Let them eat macaroons. Eighty three. Danae. Title again, please. Danae. Seventy nine. Spotted. Seventy-seven. Sisters. Seventy-eight. Empty nest. Seventy-nine. 
76. LaDonna Gravita. Eighty-one. Bad habits and good memories at the shop. Seventy-eight. Little lady in red. Seventy-eight. I've been there. <clears throat> Eighty. Free spirit. Can we, excuse me, can we bring back, I've been there? I've been there. Go ahead, Rob. Um, yeah, I, I had this at 79. It was just a near miss for me. And if you look on the right-hand side of the background area there by the ear, there's some, I don't know if it's banding or some just some... Um, post-production errors in processing, retouching, et cetera, but um, it, it's pretty distracting mm -hmm. and it just kept me out of the merit category. So I thought maybe we might want to talk about that. David, that's your next. Uh, I felt that this is deserving of a merit. Um, I think the crop on the lower side could have been a little bit tighter and um, a little bit more room around the, uh, the portrait overall. It, it's a well done uh, image. Uh, it's, I think, just at the merit uh, level. EJ? I, I was at 80 in the merit level uh, for, for the basically the, the sharpness, the tonal, the lighting and everything. I observe something there, so I'll be listening for fellow jurors' comments. Gina? It's at 82, and I'm having a difficulty seeing the banding, but I will take my jurors' word for it. I think it's a lovely study of this man. He just seems so open and, and willing to be right there. It's like he's, he's listening to everything we're saying. Uh, I still think it's a merit image, um, but still listening to my jurors. Yeah. I had this as an 80. I am having difficulty seeing the banding or the comment about the right ear. Uh, I think the expression on this is so solid and wonderful and everything else is technically there. Uh, it was a 79 for me. I was It was a just miss and I kind of feel like maybe a too wide of an angle lens was used on this. And that's just, uh, you know, my gut, it, his face feels um, way like it's coming forward. And I do uh, notice the um, artifacting in the background. Rebuttal. <clears throat> okay, well, in rebuttal, um, yeah, I, I, um, I agree with Bob's comments as well. There's something about the perspective on the head there that just seems a little bit um, uh, obtuse or something about it, the shape of his head there, but it might be the, it might be the distance, uh, lens to subject distance as well. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to bring that up. If you can't see it, you can't see it. Uh, I, I do see it there, though, next to his left ear uh, on the right-hand side on the background there. There's at least four or five dark stripes that are running in a diagonal down towards his shoulder. Um, so I wanted to bring that to your attention and um, look forward to a rescore. Rescore.
Evie? The Littlest Light Painter. Seventy-nine. Where do I go from here? Eighty. Seasoned Lumberjack. Seventy eight. Coyote Stroll. Eighty. We have a majority challenge. I'll take it. I've got this at an eighty-one in the merit category, uh, and I'm just I'm challenging it as well um, to make sure we got it up there. Um, the rendering of this coyote is just um, really, really nice. Uh, we got the catch light in the eyes. You know, got it. We got his attention. He, you can see the movement with a little kick of snow there. Um, I think this is a merit image. Rob. <clears throat> I was at 82 for exactly the same reasons. David. I scored it a 79, and what pulls me away is the there's too much indistinct image above the coyote. The coyote itself is amazing, uh, absolutely wonderful, but the just the indistinct blob of, of snow uh, above him just pulled me away from a merit. EG. I was at 78 in the above average category. I appreciate all the details in the, in the coyote and also in the snow. Uh, composition was a struggle and uh, impact wise, I mean, uh, a little bit more contrast or a color uh, could have helped with the contrast and composition. Gina? I ended up at 78, Does there, uh, above average. There were a few things that I need. Uh, explained and I might be able to go a little higher. If you look in the background, there are two very good size white lines. Uh, I realize it may be snow, but it is distracting as well as the blue gray line behind the coyote across the entire page. I realize that may be snow, but it just seems incongruous with the rest of the image. Uh, explain please. Yeah. I was at 77. Uh, technically, I think this is a great capture, and but I I'm losing it a little bit on impact and creativity. Uh, I'm not sure what the art is beyond the fact that you have eye contact with a coyote has much to do with it. Yeah, we've got some shadow going to that line across the back, the little blue line, that's some shadow. Um, and I actually didn't even notice the um, bright lines in the background, but again, I, I can attribute that to snow. Um, had this been done as a um, Slim Jim, I'd probably be up into uh, maybe a category or another category up. So I, I think that the capture of the um, coyote is uh, merit 81. Let's score it. Uh, not ready. Sorry. Okay, you're good now. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> David? 81. Gator. Seventy five. The Tongan artist. Seventy-nine. 
Grandpa, you're pulling my leg. Seventy-nine. Alabaster Rose. Eighty-one. Living My Convictions. Eighty-two. A Future in Dance. Seventy-eight. Autumn Simple Pleasures. What's around the log? Uh, title again, please, Chris. What's around the log? Thank you. My uh, screen just went berserk here. I jumped to it, page 401. Do we need to take a break real quick then, Tim, while you get... Uh, we're, we're at our lunch break right now. Anyway. No, okay, are, are you calling the score on this image then? Uh, 78, what, 78. Are we taking break now or are we continuing on? This is lunch break. All right. So we're going to take a, a lunch break, everybody. So uh, uh, we will see you back. Uh, how long of a, a break are we taking, Tim? 30 minutes. Okay, we've got a 30-minute break. Uh, uh, here's a little teaser for uh, PPW's 70th anniversary. So we've got some videos that you can watch while we have this break. And we'll see you back in about 30 minutes, everybody. Hi, Dennis Hammond. Sherry Hammond. We just want to congratulate the Professional Photographers of Washington on your many years of successful organization. Congratulations. Happy anniversary. Hello, everyone. This is Sally Kohler from Augusta, Georgia, coming to wish the PPW a happy 70th anniversary. Thank you so much for the years of education, motivation, and encouragement that you have personally given to me. I love you all. And I wish you the best anniversary you can ever have. I wanted to wish professional photographers of Washington a happy birthday. Hi, friends. Celebrate. Good evening, everyone. Congratulations, PPW, on such a fabulous history in our industry. You've set standards for education, fellowship, and so much more. I first started coming to PPW conferences in the very early 70s and those opportunities have enriched my career. I've made some fabulous friends, long, long-term friends that have helped me become the photographer that I am today. Having PPW on my doorstep to be able to look to and help and support and, and work in kind is very important. Take care everybody, have a fabulous evening. Bye for now. From Clark Burton Photography in Billings, Montana, congratulations PPW on 70 amazing years. We have so enjoyed all of our great friendships with all you people in Washington. It has been a fun, fun ride with you and you're great, great people. Congratulations. I'm Warren Mutz, the past president of the Professional Photographers of America and the American Society of Photographers, and I'd like to congratulate the Professional Photographers of Washington. In reflecting, on your 70 years of creating images and outstanding photographers, I have great memories as jury chairman at your photographic competitions. Over the years, 
I have acquired so many friends while attending your conventions. Ken Whitmire, God rest his soul, who is president of PPW in 1972 and president of the ASP in 1978. And Robert Beam, who was president of the PPW in 2002 and president of the PP of A in 2017, are two dear friends of mine. Congratulations again to your fantastic organization. I wish you many more years of continued success in photographic excellence. This is Gina Tussi. Happy 70th PPW. Wow, you guys have created so many wonderful memories, incredible imagery, and you have all sorts of interesting members. Uh, but best of all, you all are kicking the craft up to a whole new level. And literally, what more you could you ask for, except maybe some confetti! Happy 70th PPW, and many, many more. 70th anniversary, my friends, up at the Professional Photographers of Washington. Wow, what an, incre what an incredible accomplishment to be around 70 years, providing education opportunities, uh, collaboration activities, fellowship, getting together at your annual convention, and just all the wonderful things uh, that you guys do for your members. I know I had a great time when I came up, well, I guess, what's it been, about four years now? Wow. Uh, anyway, I had a great time coming up and speaking with you guys uh, a few years ago. Made some wonderful images, made some incredible friendships and you know just had a really great time so i'm so grateful that i had had an invitation not only to come see you guys here a few years ago uh, but also to provide this little video to congratulate you guys on 70 years as an association wow that's just incredible hopefully you guys are going to have a wonderful convention celebrate all of the success and achievements that you've all done over the course of these 70 years and i can't wait to see all of you again at some point in the future. So with that, I'm going to say, hey, go celebrate 70 years, and we'll see you uh, at some point in the future, I hope. Anyway, congratulations, PPW, and uh, go enjoy. Holy guacamole, 70 years as professional photographers of Washington. Hey, congratulations. Very few organizations uh, do that well, and Man, you guys are really rocking it. I've always enjoyed speaking in Washington. 70 years as a photographic organization. That is absolutely amazing. Hey, I'm glad to be just a tiny little part and having spoken there once or twice and uh, sharing some ideas and judging for the competitions and things like that. Um, it, it, doing my small part for helping you do 70 years, that's amazing. You know what? Here's to 70 more. Well, I suppose I should introduce myself as well. I'm Bob Coates, and oh, by the way, did I mention that I noticed that you guys did 70 years? Hey, congratulations again. PW is Jeff Tachowski. I'm your PPA president this year, and I want to just wish you guys a happy 70th birthday, the professional photographers of Washington. It's really an exceptional feat to make 70 years as a nice, strong, great affiliate in the Pacific Northwest. Congratulations, and I'm looking forward to 70 more. Thank you so much for those kind words. PPW is thrilled to celebrate our 70 years of professional photography excellence and those who continue to visually capture the inspiration all around us. We will officially kick off our 70th anniversary celebration at our annual spring conference, April 9th through 11th in Spokane, Washington, and we invite you to join us. There will be nationally recognized and award-winning instructors that will share tips and techniques for lighting, light painting, portraiture, and post-processing to help you elevate your photography. Three days packed with amazing information, plus great networking, a fun party, and we will celebrate our award-winning images from this competition. For more details, head over to ppw.org slash 2022 conference to see all the details and register to attend.
All right, welcome back, everybody. We're gonna be resuming our image competition 2022 here very shortly. Just wanted to remind you that we do have our annual spring conference in Spokane, Washington, coming up April 9th through 11th. And I wanna give you a little bit of a teaser as we have some of the programs put on by some of our judges today. So we've got PG that's going to be doing a session on enhancing portraits the good way. Uh, so we'll be looking at an actual photo shoot as well as his post-production techniques. We've got David Lloyd doing a program on Hollywood 40s lighting. It's a very hands-on program complete with airplanes and stylized models. I'll be leading a light or flash painting workshop, Get Lit and Fly High. We'll take a vintage warbird and we'll be looking at how to do flash painting with it. We've got Ernst, uh, My Journey with Photography. And of course, Gina Tussie's Fluffy Butts for Fun and Profit. Uh, so we get uh, more of uh, Gina's stunning personality as she comes through and shows us how to make money and uh, play with fluffy butts. So <laughs> things we definitely like. I uh, also want to let you know about the uh, PPW officers that we have here uh, up on the screen. We've got uh, Rachel, Mike, Andrew, Anita, and Chris as your executive board. And our PPA counselors, anything you need to know PPA related, we've got Rob, Rich, me, and Faye that are going to be there for you. And of course, your district reps. So need to find somebody that's local to you? Joni, Johnny, Andrew, Elena, Alexis, Jeff, and Lance are who you're looking for on that front. Uh, just a reminder before we resume competition that we are using the 100-point score system. Uh, so PPAs uh, came up with it for scoring this, so we know where our images are at. At PPA, uh, merit is 80 or above. Uh, just a little bit of a trivia for you. Uh, 79 or above for PPW makes you eligible for trophies, and 76 or higher is a PPW merit. Uh, so we actually get to hang our prints there. But 80 is the gold standard standard for how it's going to do as you move on through districts and IPC. All right, guys, are we ready to uh, continue and coming back with who our judges are? Just a reminder, our jury chair, Tim, we've got Rob, Gina, Tim, PG, Bob, and David as our jury panel. We ready for more? Yeah. Okay. So up next, poised for prom. Eighty. One last kiss. Eighty. Eddie's my name. Mm -hmm. 
78. Majestic Ryan. Her soul blooms in her eyes. Mm -hmm. 78. Portrait of a black woman. I will protect you always. Seventy-seven uh, above average, but I have concerns with um, oh your zone system as well. Uh, it, it's the technique that is used in milky kind of background and kind of blown out sky. I, I'm just concerned that um, this just is a, a merit quality. <clears throat> so I scored this an eighty-four. Actually, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, to me, it looks like the sun's coming predominantly from behind and to the right of the back of the animal. And it's um, the fact that you've got uh, ear that's sunlit and then the rest of it is uh, in the shade. It's got a tremendous amount of contrast and detail in there. And the blacks to me are really rich. It's a predominantly mid to high key image. Uh, I think it's really well done. Um, I'm solidly in the merit category. Yeah, I scored this in 81 and I thought that the... Uh the buffalo and its uh, progeny both look good. Um, I believe the the background was brought down from being you know totally overexposed and kind of gave it that old west feel. I was at eighty uh, in the merit category. I felt like the exposure was correct. The buffalo, uh, the side of the the animal would have been in deep shade if they hadn't exposed properly for that, and they did. And in beautiful detail throughout the animal. So I felt like it was a merit image. Good. David? Yes. Okay. I scored it as a um, 80. And the only thing that held me back uh, were the uh, wisps of straw that are across the hind area, you know, the hind legs of the buffalo. But the, the movement, the composition, the strength of the image is fabulous. I was at 81 in the merit category of all uh, the positives mentioned. <laughs> In rebuttal, uh, I'd like to call a few things in for technical that you can uh, that I see. I'm seeing above the head and the ears and the back and around the neck on the on the um, bison. You know, um, a little bit of halation is relevant on the front of the face and then the uh, chest hair under the beard underneath and across the back side where it cuts into the mountainside. I'm seeing a really bright white line cut across. I mean, I, I, I realize that this is has a very good storytelling technique. But I am a little concerned about the way the background perhaps may have been brought down. Uh, I will uh, raise my score up to 80, but um, I am a little concerned about those issues. You score, please. Eighty-one. The Good Witch. Seventy-nine. Hungry like a wolf. Seventy-nine. 
82. <clears throat> Piano Man. Eighty-two. <clears throat> Groovy girl in green. Eighty. Twelve more years of this. Eighty-two. Tripping the light, fantastic. Seventy-nine. A dog's life. Seventy-nine. Cross-eyed Carl. Eighty. The bur excuse me, the girl boss gets her goodies. Seventy-eight. Gracefully on point. Eighty-one. Black is beautiful. Eighty-two. My forest friend. Seventy-nine. Challenge. PG. I am at 80 on, on this image uh, uh, just uh, for the storytelling aspect and uh, cute subject matter and uh, the presentation. Would like to talk about it. Gina. Hey, this is 79 right on the border. I was having a little bit of issues with uh, the cutout feel from the top of her hair um, and a little bit on the brightness across her left cheek and into the hair. So I was at 78, and uh, I think it's printed a little bit too light. The lighting direction's okay. It's not amazing. But, I mean, the dress is as bright or as sharp as the, the gal. I think if you were to reprint this and bring in some vignetting and some post-production, it would be solidly in the merit for me. Yeah, I scored this in the merit category at 80 um, and may have been a little bit high. Was it 78 in the above average category? And uh, my concerns have already been mentioned. David? Yes, I scored this at a merit. Uh, I love the composition, the expression. Uh, it is overly bright, uh, as has been mentioned. Uh, but I think it's a lovely, lovely direction that could be um, worked on in post and uh, brought into a higher merit characteristic. 
Eugene. Yeah, uh, uh, thank you for the comments. I was just on the border. I mean, I, I felt like <clears throat> we probably need a discussion on this. Uh, uh, as we were at 79, I, I, I see some of the cutout field. I will change my score to 79. All right, let's score it. Seventy-nine. Snowy on a blue sky. Seventy-eight. Bella. Seventy-eight. Diamond in the rough. Eighty. Meal on ice. Seventy-eight. The real macaw. Seventy-nine. Hold me close. Eighty-one. The modern mother. Classic is always in style. Eighty, we have a majority challenge. I challenge. You challenging? Yeah. Yeah, I've I've got this an eighty two uh in the merit category and I, I think this maker really is pushing the envelope with uh the way the composition was done. I mean we've gotta 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 touch on that hat. I know it's touching on each side and I'm gonna hear about it, but I really enjoy the light on the uh the face there and the hat is just shaped so nicely. Uh fashion portrait. Uh, I was at seventy eight. Um and you're right, Bob. I, I have <laughs> I have an issue. Uh, with the crampness, the feel of this, that she's just squeezed into this box. I, I love the lighting uh, overall. I'm not crazy about how hot those highlights are in the eyes, um, but the skin tones are beautiful, and I, I really wanted to go higher. I just cannot get past this uh, cramped feeling about the image. David? Yes, I scored this as an 81 uh, just because of the graphic impact. Um, it doesn't bother me that the um, the crop is so tight, uh, it helps to pull in towards the, you know, the subject's face. Uh, I'm going to stay with an 81. DJ? I, I was at 78 in the above average category, uh, <laughs> so I will not mention about the hat. But uh, uh, the skin tones uh, is lacking some texture, especially the jawline was not defined well on the left side of the image. Uh, that was bothering me. 
Uh, but I will wait for the rebuttal. Oh, sorry. I have this at 79 above average, just almost there. Uh, the cramping in the head is one thing. I, I would, I want to see more of her in the image and less of the presentation. Um, because I think there's a there's a beautiful face and a beautiful story in here. I just want to pay more attention to that than what's around it. So I scored it a 78, and since everybody's spoken about the hat, I don't think it's cropped tightly enough. I'd rather see it top, cropped into the top of the head so that I can see the eyes more. It has been mentioned about the jawline not being really defined. Personally, I think the neck and the shoulder is as bright or brighter than the face. And I think if that were toned down, it would really make it pop more. I'm not a huge fan of the directional light. I could have seen it coming from a little bit more camera left. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a fight, but I'm going to keep fighting anyway. Um, I really think that the, the way the maker made all of the skin luminous and just coming forward, it just makes it stand and pop uh, out amongst that uh, the dark gray of her dress and of the hat. Um, and then of the overall presentation, uh, you know, it's it's a little large, but I think it fits with that big hat. Just, uh, I'm in. 82. Let's rescore it. <clears throat> 81. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Eighty-three. Challenge. You know, I have this up at an eighty-five, and uh, right there in the excellent category. Wow! Look at this. Look at the impact of this. I mean, no matter whether you think positively or negatively about this, it, you've got to admit this. It just comes up and smacks you in the kisser. I think the creativity that you used with almost creating like a BDSM kind of feel along with this this angelic personage of being. Um, a sister in the cloisters or whatever, along with the beautiful light of, of the blues and then and then the oranges to create that cross complementary feeling, but also kind of saying good girl, bad girl kind of side. Let's talk about this image a little bit. I scored this as an 82 and I'm all over the compliments on this thing. The choices there are really well designed aesthetically. Uh, I had an issue with not going higher because I, the face has been handled and illustrated in the hair so nicely and beautifully but when you go down to the hands and the arms and below it has a pure photographic feel if they would have car carried that uh, technique from the face and the hair down throughout consistently i'd be way over the top on this in the next category 83 for the positives and negatives and the, the bottom uh, just has a milky feel to me yeah a good challenge gina i was at 79 in the above average category i I uh, was at first kind of confused by the crossover uh, color thing that's happening there, but I do appreciate uh, the positive comments and I see some things there that I appreciate more now. So I, I really do uh, uh, applaud you for the challenge. Although I, I am still hung up with the bottom left quadrant quadrant of this photo. And, and uh, as Bob mentioned, there's just a kind of a cast down there that uh, keeps pulling me down and I want to enjoy the upper half of the image. Aaron. Yes, uh, I scored this as an 81. Um, I think I might even increase my score. I love the graphic element of it. Um, I think it really works well. Maybe the background could be pulled down a little bit, but otherwise I think this is definitely, um, you know, deserving of a merit and possibly even to excellent. I was at 83 in the mid middle of the merit category. Uh, love the concept of it, how it is executed. Uh, some of the negatives mentioned kept me out into going to the higher categories, especially the background, the the theme that is on the subject. Uh, the same was not reflected on the background. Yeah, I mean, it was not congruent. Rebuttal. In rebuttal. Um, okay, I'm gonna explain a little bit. The, the milky is actually the back of her habit, uh, the long habit that's curving around her dairy air. <clears throat> the 
the, the kind of it goes into that milky and fall off is an extreme light fall off. I mean, even though we have this beautiful light coming on both sides of her hips, you know, it is going to fall slightly as it falls below, you know, your knees or so. Uh, I, I do agree, Tam, that, uh, or excuse me, uh, to one of the jurors had mentioned, you know, maybe the face was processed and then the rest of the body should have. But man, the creativity and the impact alone with this is, is just enough to put me right up in there in the excellent category. So why don't you come on, join me up to 85, and let's celebrate this. <laughs> Good. Eighty-five. Thank you. History looks to the future for hope. Seventy-eight. Uh, Chris, could you? Yes. Kill the outside sound for me, please. Oh, yep. Going on break real quick.
And we're back. Up next, The Day the Music Died. Seventy-eight. Elevated perspective. Seventy-seven. The devil mm -hmm. made me do it. Eighty-two. Challenge. Yeah. Um, I have this at a seventy-eight, which is which is above average. I have some concerns that if the rest of the jurors can uh, help me decipher, I'd be happy to do what we need to do. I'm looking at that hot highlight coming across her elbow, as well as both elbows basically being just whacked off at the bottom. I, I appreciate the the beautiful job they've done in the hair and. And, uh, and, and then the body paint, uh, but I'm really having issues with that and the struggling across the light that comes across the fingertips and the, and the uh, wrist joints that are just really popping. So I was high at 85. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I do have some issues with the continuity of processing throughout the image. I love what was done on the face, but it doesn't seem to carry out as well through the rest of the body. Uh, the rest of the body is brighter. The hair is brighter. Um, I just thought conceptually and design-wise, this was really well executed. I understand the concern about your cropping into elbows. I know we have a fixation on that. But this is meant, in my mind, to be aggressive in your face, uh, not normally in our traditional approach. So I can forgive that. Um, I'm just really rewarding what I think is excellent creativity. 84, and it's been set. Uh, 81, I was taken by the impact of the image. Um, I, I, I noticed the elbows being cut off, but I'm thinking about the title and the overall storytelling. Uh, for me, it worked as a merit image. David? Yes, I scored it at an 80. Um, I would like to score it a little bit higher. I just was uh, pulled back a bit by the um, highlight on the forehead um, and possibly the tip of the nose. But... Um, Gosh, the creativity is really off the charts with this. I was at, I was at 78 uh, in the above average category uh, as well. I mean, I, I love the uh, creative aspect, the storytelling that Macro is trying to do here. But uh, overall mood, uh, the brightness values were not going with the storytelling uh, for me. Um, go ahead, in rebuttal. Um, well, thank you, judges, for explaining some of the issues that I had. I will be raising my score up to an 80. We score. <clears throat> 82. Sorrowful. Seventy-five. Homage, Edward Curtis. Seventy-nine. Detective fiction. Eighty two.
Milo standing tall. Eighty. Challenge. Have a majority challenge. Okay. Go ahead, Gina. Uh, well, I actually have this at a seventy-eight. Uh, I'm having some issues. The eyes are not in focus. Uh, the focus is on the little scarf, and then with the in the upper right-hand corner with the light uh, trap coming across, um, I'm just not there. I was in at, at an 82. Uh, I'm not seeing the focus issue. I see the snout, nose being sharp, and then the ears behind being sharp. So everything through, it feels sharp to me. Um, I'm not sure whether it's in studio contrived scene or not. I'm kind of suspecting that. But I mean, actually, with the edge light, it's probably a little hot, but I'm still solidly in the merit category. Yeah, I was at a 77 and above average. Um, the background um, just kind of mushing up the way it does. Uh, doesn't feel just like fall off um, to me. I see sharpness in in his uh, in his face all the way back, but um, I also feel like there's uh, some issues in the how it blends to the background. Um, I was at seventy nine, and uh, for the negatives already mentioned, kept me out of the merit category. Okay, David. Yes, yeah, seventy nine also, um, and the haloing around the you know the left ear and top of the head where the uh, highlights sort of mush into the background. I was, at, I, I was at 81 in the merit category. Uh, uh, the, I see sharpness. I see uh, a beautiful uh, colors going across the image. Uh, I, I thought it was a solid merit. Rebuttal. And rebuttal, um, Jers, I guess on this one you're just going to have to vote your conscience, but I, I'm solidly at 78. All right, rescore, score, please. <clears throat> 79. Native mother. Challenge. Um, I'm at 88 on this image in the excellent category. And uh, gosh, I just find this image compelling and stunning and impactful. Um, I, I really appreciate the storytelling that's happening here. Uh, the rays of light, the way they've been so delicately handled all the way around from behind. Um, I know that the light on her forehead is a little hot but um, I'm not up in the superior category. I probably would be if it was not. Um, and so I think we should talk about it a little bit. I'd like to see you up, join me up here. David? Yes, uh, I scored this at a 78. And my primary difficulty with it is the darkness of the wrists and hands and uh, lower part of the uh, dress and feet. Um, the, I love the concept, um, I just, it doesn't have the right kind of lighting continuity that I would anticipate. There should be light shining, you know, through the dress at the bottom. I was at 77 in the average category. Uh, I love the concept of it. Uh, execution was my problem, like uh, it was mentioned, the lighting as we go down uh, was a concern and also uh, was not thrilled with the presentation, taking away from the subject. Overall, the backlight uh, would was not consistent on the feathers and on the clothing and all that. So, yeah. uh, I had this at 80, deserving of merit. I, it, it came across and was just gobsmacking. I mean, as far as 
almost a study on a religious um, icon. Uh, but I am seeing some issues with the way the light fall off is from the waist down and across the hands. I was at 77 and iconic imagery, I mean, they don't have the same concerns we have with the singular light source, but uh, because they thought the angels themselves or the saints themselves were the source of light. But the incontinuity of what the light sources are between all the elements, they don't seem to match at all and doesn't seem to have the same contrast level. Uh, and or color tone throughout for me. So that was my major issue. I enjoyed this for a merit. I've got this at an 82. Um, and I see that as a, a single spotlight coming down. Um, you know, it, it really is a harsh spotlight, like a um, parabol parabolic light. It's shining down on the feathers and on her face. Everything else falls off very quickly. We don't know how thick that material is on the dress. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm for merit for sure. Rebuttal. Okay, well, I might I might have been a little over enthusiastic, but I still really love this image. And to me, I'm I'm going to argue with you guys about the lighting because I think it makes sense. This light is clearly coming straight down from the top, in a fashion in which Bob mentioned, and it's striking the top of the feathers, it's striking the top of her head. Her hands are back; they're not out in front of her; they're not beside her; they're back. So they would be underneath those feathers. The hands should not be having light fall on them; they would be blocked by the feathers. Now. The light on the dress, there could maybe be more light on the dress if that's what bothers you, but is that really keeping it out of the merit category for this fantastic conceptual fantasy piece? I mean, there's a, a ton of work that's been done really, really well in this image. And at, at the very least, I think we should be in the merit category. So I'm gonna lower my score to an 84, and I hope you'll join me there. We score. Eighty-two. Elegance. Seventy nine. In his eyes. Seventy-nine. Emerald gaze. Seventy-five. Soul piercing eyes. Unholy Lilith, Mother of Night. Eighty five Cameron, twenty twenty one. This is an album. And this one goes straight through, unlike um, For us, like can you when we, comment on like that? When we look at it on printcompetition.com, that we can just scroll through it. Just keep hitting the right arrow. You're muted, Forrest. There'll be a gray screen blocking it. Forrest, if you're talking, you're muted. Huh. That's why you didn't hear my timeout. Uh, time, time out, please. All right. We'll be right back.
All right, we're resuming. And for those of you watching, the uh, image was not uploaded to print competition, but the album is there and the judges are seeing it. So we get to stare at a blank screen. Next page. Next page. Next page. Mm -hmm. Next page. 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 What are your scores? <clears throat> 79. My heritage, my style, my year. Start on the album page. <clears throat> Next page. 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 <clears throat> Next page. 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 
And we are hearing somebody on a phone call in the background. I know. I know. That's me. Hang on. Hang on one second. I thought we had all the phones taken off. Next page. Next page. Next page. Sorry about that. David? Yes. Score? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't uh, hear that, that we were ready. Okay. Score is 80. Coons Family Adventure. Title, please. Coons Family Adventure. And again, there was not a preview image uploaded for this one, so uh, the judges can see the images. Uh, us watching live cannot. First page. Next 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 page. <clears throat> Next page. <clears throat> Next page. Next page. Next page. Next page. David? Oh, I didn't hear that we were ready to score. When the end of the album. Score is 80. Give me a timeout for one, for one second. Sure, we'll be right back.
All right, and on to our next one. Sweet and sassy. Next page. Next page. Next. 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 Any score? <clears throat> Eighty one. All right, we are now into the wedding category. So the next images that we're going to be seeing are in the wedding category. Hill Country Bride. Gina? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 81. <laughs> Simply elegant. Seventy-nine. Let's fly away. Seventy-eight. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Seventy-seven. <clears throat> Layers of love. We are now entering the artist division. In this one, we do have a combination of portrait, illustrative, and restoration images. We've mixed all of these together, so I'll be reading the category that it's in as well as the title for each image as they are all mixed uh, across. Question? Up first in the artist restoration Question? category, Question? School Days 1917. Hold I'm up. sorry, what was that? I have a question. Oh, sure. Hmm. Do these prints require thumbnails? Uh, we should have the, the guide images, yes. Okay. School days, 1917. Eighty 
Haiti. Restoration. A logger's pride. Portrait, feathered, portrait, feathered friends. Portrait, Fire Phoenix. Eighty two challenge. I have this at an eighty seven. I mean, smack dab in the middle of the excellent category. I, you're wow. Okay, let me take a deep breath here. This image has so much impact, so much symmetry, so much wonderful build within it, and then they took these very simple elements of the fire, added to this this model, and just turned her into a super villain. And I just want to hear some more discussion about it. So I was at eighty one. Enjoyed the image. Uh, it feels to me. I know an original. Uh, image it was tilted to the right but i would have straightened her up and made this purely symmetrical uh i think it would have made it stronger some of the wisp uh, what's going on down below is not as compelling for me um but i'm i'm really listening because i want to hear what the other judges say uh, i was in an 82 uh, firmly in the merit category but i had the the same feeling as uh my former judge there i was also at 81 in the merit category uh for the reasons Tim mentioned, and for the, I, I can't get away from these flames that are up up and above the right and left side of her head. Um, even looking at the guide images, I don't see how any flame would ever be chiseled like that along the inside edge with a halo all the way along it. So that's that's what kept me in, in low in the merit category. David? Yes, I scored this um, at uh, 80 uh, merit. Um, I think that the the application is excellent. It's just a little too contrasty um, to go much above, uh, you know, the um, deserving of a merit range. Did you? I was at eighty in the merit uh, category. Uh... I love a lot of the work and the direction this is going, but uh, I, I was confused about that fire and then I thought that might be wings. But then when I came down uh, where uh, at her waist level, there is some yellow seeping onto her clothing, which doesn't seem like a backlight because it cuts off. And also the, the, cloth, uh, the lighting on her dress in the bottom doesn't go with everything else in the image. Some of those uh, technical issues kept me into going into the merit other categories. Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay, I, I see exactly what my other jurors are talking. I still think it's a wonderful image, definitely deserving a merit. I will be lowering my score to an 84. Three score. Eighty-two. <clears throat> Restoration. Sister some fucker. Pardon me? Sister yeah, awesome. some fucker. Oh, thank you.
81. <clears throat> Portrait, Her Royal Highness. Seventy-nine. <clears throat> Challenge, David. Um, I scored this an eighty-four. I think that the artistic uh, element here is, and the way that the width with which the image has been turned into an illustration, um, is excellent. Um, the only thing that keeps me from going higher than eighty-four is the crown. The crown doesn't really fit the rest of the picture in terms of the way in which it's handled, but the uh, the feathers, the eyelashes, uh, I think it's definitely in the merit category. I was at, I was at seventy eight in the above average category. Um, I I like the direction where the maker was going, but uh, it. So uh, the, the one thing is the uh, the painting technique on the bird versus how the background is rendered and also the contrast at, uh, near the crown, the feathers were almost blending with the background, the color tonality wise. I'm actually enjoying the bird in the thumbnail more than the bird in the main image. Uh, 78 and it's been covered. Yeah. yeah, 77. I mean, each of the elements were handled differently. Yeah, 78, and there's the reality within the fantasy doesn't exist within this. The the bird, for me, is up there in the excellent category. Everything else pulls it back down to the above average. Rob? 78 above average. I, um, yeah, I, it's been said, and then why show us a thumbnail of a real crown and then have an animated? I, I'm just confused. I'm so confused by the mixture of techniques here. So I'm well, excited. <clears throat> yes, well, I'm, I'm certainly listening to everyone. Um, and I'll, you know, bring my score down. I just, I do love what has been done with the bird. Let's rescore. <clears throat> Portrait, The Epic Adventures of Little Dog. Eighty-five. Portrait, flowers and skulls. Seventy-nine. Portrait, Final Fantasy. Challenge. Can we go to the previous image after we challenge this one? Who challenges? Um, uh, yeah, I challenge this, Bob. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I scored this a 76. Uh, a major portion of the um, scoring for an artist image is the amount of work and how well it was done. And I see 
you know, three or four separate images that have been combined, but they don't live together. And, um, I, you know, I don't see where this has become a new piece. It's just the other pieces rearranged in, in my thought process. Uh, I was at 81. <laughs> I thought it was just in the merit category. Um, I, I do feel like the maker did a good job of combining these four images. I especially am impressed with the way that they've made it this symmetrical tree um, scrag out of those two different images. Um, and uh, I found it compelling and just inside the merit category. David? Yes, so I scored it as uh, an 80. And the only thing that pulled me back is uh, the hot spot on her knee and the, the, her cheekbones are a little hot. Otherwise, it has a lot of mystery and drama to it. I was at 81 in the merit category. Uh, I thought the maker was able to bring the mood, like uh, the branches that were there in a slightly different lighting condition and the subject also in a different lighting condition. All of them came together in a, a cloudy day, moody environment. I, I, I thought there was enough impact in the image. I had this at a 79. I was borderline until I started looking around within the images of a lot of little spots. Like on the left-hand side, away from her wing, you have two tree branch snaps that look exactly the same. We have total control over everything in artistry. You know, let's not leave little little bits hanging around. And as much as I really enjoy the atmospheric condition of the clouds, there is just as much as in focus as she is. And so that kind of gives me a question mark. So I was at 80, solidly there until my previous judge who spoke about little bits. And I think that's a really good point. Um, I'm still right there, but I'm listening. Yeah, I, you know, I'm not, uh, this is just, you know, my feeling was that, you know, that yes, there was an extraction made, the extraction was okay, but it doesn't feel like everything lives together. We have that really hot spot in the clouds up in the top left-hand corner, which makes it into a light trap with the, um, the way the limb holds it over there. The lighting on her face really hasn't changed. Um, the, uh, flower piece in front of her face is uh, still really strong and, and everything doesn't feel like it lives together. So for me, uh, you know, I'll, I'll come up a little bit uh, to join you guys, but uh, I'm still in the above average category, 78. Three score. Seventy-nine. And can we go back to the previous image? Yep. In the portrait category, flowers and skulls. So I scored this. Um, well, let's see. I can tell you exactly what I scored. I think I scored it in 83. Um, so this is in the style of a illustrator by the name of Alphonse Mucha. And it's uh, an homage to that. And you can really see the influences in the work. Uh, I thought it was a really nice creative approach to that. I think what's going on in the face is a little different than everything else in the scene, which would also be different than what that particular artist did. But I thought it was a very solid interpretation and I thought it was creative enough to put it in merit category. I think, believe we are at 79. Yes. Yeah, I was, I was at a 78 for this. And while I appreciate, I don't think they quite hit the mark with this, this homage. I really appreciated the idea and I looked at the thought and I was like, oh man, man, I really wanted to go, but I just don't feel it got there. Uh, I, uh, Tim, was I at 77? Is that? On this? You were at uh, 78. 78, okay. Um, yeah, well, I, I, I like the style. I, I do enjoy the style of the image. Uh, I appreciate all the work that's gone into this, I just can't get past the differences in sharpness throughout the composition and especially the face, but then how sharp the detail is of the background floral patterns. And so it's, for me, it's, it's about that. It's this delineation of sharpness that's not consistent throughout the image.
David. David? Yes, so I scored this as an 80, uh, deserving of a merit. I think that the concept is wonderfully portrayed, and what just held me back was the soft focus in the hair and the face. I was at 77 in the above average category uh, for all the reasons, positives and negative stated. I almost enjoyed it. My main concern was the lack of dimension or uh, sharpness in the face compared to everything else in the image and also cutting off the toe in the bottom. I had this at a 79 and who doesn't love an Art Noel tarot card? I mean, it's just a great design thought process but it did indeed fall flat in a few of the technical excellence areas, such as on the face. Bottle. Well, I appreciate the comments. Um, the, what I wanted to make sure that we were seeing this is how it was intended. For example, the hair looks like a bad selection and the same thing with the lines around the body and the dress and all that. All that That's all part of the style. So I thought that was very appropriate. I see your comment about the face um, it was really interesting that the detail was originally there and they pulled it out stylistically. I'm, uh, you're going to have to vote your conscience. I'm going to still keep this in the merit category because uh, I do want to reward the maker. Score? Sure. 80. Thank you. In the restoration category, it's just you and me now. Eighty-four, challenge. Go ahead. Yeah, eighty-eight. Uh, excellent category. I, you know, if we look where we started from. This is a teeny, 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 tiny little piece, and the maker was able to keep and hold detail all the way through. I feel like the the people that are in the uh, the image are the people that they are. They haven't been changed. Um, really well done. Yeah, I'm at 83, and uh, good challenge, Bob. I, I didn't look closely enough at that one thumbnail and saw how small that photo was. What I love about the final rendering here is it's got that period feeling to it, the way the, you know, those if it was in fact a glass plate image or a contact print or whatever, we get that fall off on the edges of the image, and and yet the, um, the fathers and, and I'm going to say son, I don't know, son or daughter's eyes are so sharp and... Um, just piercing and it really pulls you and I think it's really well done. I think I'm, I need to come up a little. David? Yes, I scored this an 81. Um, I think that the final rendering is almost uncanny. I was just curious as to where the watches, the watch and the keys and stamps were in or if that's just to help add to the, uh, the period. DJ. I was at 83 uh, in the merit category, and uh, thanks for the challenge. I, I, I see quite a bit of work done. Uh, I, I think those keys and uh, coins is to just give the um, skill of the image that was rendered from. Uh, my concern was the focus coming in out and going, and especially the, father, the contrast ratio on the father's face and the daughter's face was not matching. Huh in the final output, uh, but I, I'm, I'm starting to like it more now. Uh, I, had, I had this at 83, and I would have been much higher. I had some concerns with some of the texture. If you're able to create texture in one area, you should be able to create the same texture within another to bring that back just a hair, especially uh, around the little hood of the little person going into the father's shoulder. You have all this texture in the jacket, and it just kind of falls apart in between the two. Um, you know that those are those are technical excellence issues in, in restoration that kind of leave a question mark. So it's just my um, my idea of that, but uh, I am willing to come up in our support. 
So for the sake of being totally redundant, uh, this is an exceptional challenge. Thank you, sir. I am totally missed this. I appreciate the comments about the texture, particularly the top of the hat and on the shoulder. But I'm also looking at, look at how the fur around the child's face is rendered so beautifully. The hair is rendered so beautifully. And I am completely enamored with, if you look at the gentleman's face, he has texture and depth and character of the face, which often is not in a restoration or it's there with the child too. I think this is exceptional. Yeah, I, I think we're all pretty close. Um, just, just to answer those couple of quick things, um, that little bit of texture that's missing in some spots where it comes in and out, that can be very much in an old, old piece anyway. Um, and then the, the watch and the keys and stuff, that was to show the size of that. Also, if you notice, there's a little ruler there that shows you that this started as an inch and a quarter by, you know, uh, an inch uh, as far as the beginning image. And look at what we've come up with. Oh, my. Um, 88, excellent category for me. Yeah, we score. David? Mm -hmm. Yes, 88. Portrait, all that jazz. <clears throat> there with my screen just disappeared. Thank you. Score is 80. Illustrative. The Traveler. Hang on a second. Oh. Is there a question? Yeah, I have a challenge on that, please. Okay. So are we um, going back to the previous image? Yeah, back to all that jazz. Okay. <clears throat> Portrait. Um, all that jazz. I, I have some concerns about the feather technique. Uh, I mean, emus have strange feathers, but this, they seem to be, and I don't want to use this term, but they seem to be copy cloned of each other, uh, especially the top two, uh, and just repositioned slightly. And the shadows within the feathers kind of fall apart a little bit for me. I realize that it's an artistic image, but you have some almost photographic with the, uh, with the saxophone and semi with the hat, but then you have this kind of lump of feathers. I, I don't mean that to sound negative. I just can't come up. Uh, and I'm just, I just would like some explanation if some of my other jurors um, could give that to me, please. Tim? Uh, what did you score, Gina? I already scored a 77. I scored a 77 also. The incontinuity between the elements, again, is uh, the treatment of them is an issue for me. Uh, I would address the body of the animal uh, if you look in the uh, original guide image, there is it is three dimensional. There is a roundness to it, uh, whereas on the rendering, there is it's just a flat space of feathers. There's no depth to it at all, and that's a major issue for me. Yeah, I was at a 77, and the incontinuity between the, all the different elements is uh, what held me back. I was at 78, and it was the top edge of the back and the. Um, the leg on our left would be the right leg of the bird just is completely inconsistent with the left leg. David? Yes, um, I scored this rather high in 85. I just was really taken with the artistry of it. I do see the um, elements that pull back uh, as has been mentioned, uh, but I just, I think it's a really fun and exciting image. I was at 82 for the overall concept of it and uh, how the face and the story was rendered, but I, I, I see some issues that were mentioned now. In rebuttal, um, it's been it's been put out there. Thank you. Score. <clears throat> Seventy-eight. Illustrative, the traveler.
77. Portrait. Runaway. Seventy-nine. Restoration. Nothing to see here. Eighty-two. Illustration. Don't leave home without it. Illustration. Showgirl. All right, that's our last image. Tim, is there any that need to be brought back? How much time, how much time are you going to need for getting ready for award selection? Usually about 15 minutes. Okay. But are there any images that are being brought back? It's 10 after. Okay, I want to give everybody a thank you for joining us for the 2022 image competition for the professional photographers of Washington. Again, a huge shout out to our jury chair, Tim, and our jury panel, Rob, Gina, Tim, PG, Bob Coates, and David Lloyd. I want to remind you once again of our annual spring conference coming April 9th through 11th in Spokane, Washington. And we've got many great programs that are going to be occurring at the conference. And a special uh, thanks to our sponsors that have helped put on our image competition, as well as uh, sponsoring prizes and such at our annual convention. All right, everyone, that's officially a wrap for the general public. The judges will now be meeting for doing the awards and trophy selections. Thanks, everybody.